vidakium.com. See, you're live. Good. All right. Shalom, 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 shalom. We the outcome of here in El Paso, Texas, another wicked, sinful, pedophile, homosexual, LGBTQ. Like in city here in Great Babylon, America, bring out this gospel and this truth to the hope and left of the Ashalada Asia, the also called classes, Native Americans and Latinos. And also let these heathen nations and all these other uh, tribes here in Great Babylon, America, in particular the so called white man tribe, Edomites, uh, know that this place is up for destruction real soon by Yahweh, by Shim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who's going to come and redeem the hope and left of the Ashalada. So let's before we get started, we're gonna turn to the east and give all glory and honor to Yahweh Yahshai by Shimmer Kandakash. Double honor to the teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Bell Stone. Also to your brothers that they're putting out this truth, faithfully fearless to feed the sheep. And to your brothers and sisters tuning in, Shalom. You know we're live back here on the phone. The streams just as good as YouTube. So any of you brothers want to come over, hey, feel free to come over. Lots of lots of bandwidth. It's free. This is the book of Psalms 65 and 21. It says, The words of his mouth. Was smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn sword. And we know we don't have to look any further than that paley, pale, pasty faced red demon, Esau the Edomite, the so called white man, who have come and beguiled the entire earth, okay, with all of his false crop and unproven uh, theories, all okay, and how life is supposed to be. And in particular, his attention is turned to. Yasharala Israel, also called Fast Americans Latino, to turn that continuously follow whatever whatever comes of this doggone man's mouth. Okay? But the Lord has set up the ancient prophets to come back in these last days here to prophesy against his wicked kingdom and let these people know that the time of the wicked ruler is coming to an end real soon. And you people better start to repent. And we're only talking to the tribe of Israel. We're not concerned about your other 17 tribes that are out here, okay, because the Lord has the rough salvation, okay, has distracted all us. That's a spit of in a dog on bucket. Uh, anything? All right. All right. Just for the land back on, uh, on the first precept here, Psalm 55, the 21, how, you know, uh, pretty exposing of the true nature of, uh, you know, the subsequent white man, uh, all right, biblical nationalities, Esau, even the devil the Bible speaks of, you know, through his vile, profane nature, including, uh, you know, blatant lies and whatnot. These devils just caught, they, uh, just got caught recently lying on uh, the intel on a 21 year old National Guardsman. Uh, I mean, uh, Jack Douglas called the National Guard, okay, uh, you know, for supposedly, you know, uh, leaking uh, the uh, online intelligence or, or the intelligence of the whole Ukraine proxy war. So basically, Esau got caught lying about the intel exposed. Um, of the whole Ukraine proxy war through the scapegoat, you know, further revealing that uh, they really they really uh, uses the 21 year old uh, 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 individual as a scapegoat. All right, and and the reason why they did is because they they like you know because Esau's uh, power is in secrecy. This is why uh, you know the 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 uh, Biden so called Illuminati so called very central crime banking families. Okay, rules in the shadows. That's why the otherwise known as through the aliens, the shadow of and they, they're the true uh you know presence, you know, the true oligarchs of the world. Okay. You know, like but otherwise, you know, but you gotta say in uh I believe you know, Isaiah, Isaiah the 14 chapter specifically, you know that you know the, the staff, the staff of the wicked, okay, who the rules the doctor of the door, you know, like I said in Isaiah the 47 chapter. You know, uh, say Luke the torch out. Okay, how should I say everything is done in the dark shall come to light? You know, so the devil's being exposed along the lies. They, they, you know, they point them out of behind brain misinformation. You know, it's going to go National Guard individual that uh, they try to make it seem like he was he was the sole uh, 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 proprietor or perpetrator behind you know this this, this information on the Ukraine proxy were being leaked out. All right, to further. Uh, showcased the, the American government in, in a positive light, as if they were compromised, okay, by, by yet another uh, individual that committed espionage, like Julian Assange, you know, uh, Chelsea Manning, and these other individuals, right? Okay, 
because Esau the devil, man, he'll 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 act like he has people's best interests at heart, but it's the other way around, man. Okay, it's like you know he invades, he sees his his mo, his modus operandi, okay, or or, or uh, uh, track record is to invade these countries, these other lands, under the guise of democracy, and democracy and uh, whatnot, right? You know, and to to masquerade what his true intentions are. See, that's that's oh, that's still a mock in the second chapter, man. right? So that that's that pretty confirms the devil is being exposed, man. All right, and that's why he hates us. All right, because we are the uh, friends with satanic pure origins. So I'm going to bring this uh, precept out in the book of Michael, the second chapter. All right, uh, and start to start from the top. Michael chapter two, verse one. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. See? Who, 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 who's, uh, uh, who's, uh, uh, hands, who's looking hands in the world? Who's looking hands in the world? Who's looking hands in the world? Who's looking hands in the Okay, who has the uh, most formidable military on the earth right now? Okay? Most wicked uh, political regime on, 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 uh, uh, on, on the, in the world right now. The most uh, 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 tyrannical geoeconomical regime on earth right now. Okay, as it stands right now through the petrodollar, the current uh, reserve currency. But I've heard it confirmed that Esau is falling rapidly, man, in every facet of his nation. Right? Okay, especially for the fact that these other nations are are deterring from uh, uh they're deferring anyway from using uh, uh relying on the, this global reserve currency petrodollar, okay, for trade, including India as a reason. All right, and, you know, speaking about uh, uh, indulging in a uh, uh, trade through, the, uh, through their uh, currency, uh, through, through their rupee currency. Okay, well, I want to think about that. Uh, it's like, if you look at, when you compare the world, you can look at these countries individually. So the rich kid on the block is always going to be abusive and have everybody falling in line, simply with the fact that they're the rich kid. Because everybody else has to grow, you know, and wealth, okay, the intolerance of that rich kid started to, start to demonstrate itself. And this is what you see right now, the intolerance right now. The nation saying, you know what? We're not gonna, we're not gonna go with your dog on LBGTQ. But don't be fooled because all these nations are gonna they, they're, they're gonna agree, okay, but the doctrine of the peace system is gonna be bringing out. That isn't true. So everything that you see, you see moving forward here with the, 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 uh, you know, a partnership of this uh, satanic new world order, they're still prophesied to be divided. You know, like it says in Revelation 17, 16, if you can get there real quick. You know, because uh, how does that be put for sure right now in terms of East Coast rulership being further uh, 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 you know, traveled down by the Holy Spirit of the Hall by Shimon Shai? Okay. Most recently, case in point, okay, uh, and it came out that Germany. Is looking to close their final three uh, nuclear plants. The reason why that's pivotal in the grand scheme of things is that basically nuclear plants are like they're like thermonuclear uh, sources of uh, of converting heat to electricity. Okay, by way that by way of that source of uh, uh, energy, Germany and France have been known to be divided over that over that situation. You know? So that's that means what? That's a further soon the second edge of nine chapter and so forth. That the, the empire of uh, 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 this this Edomite conglomerate, this, this Edomite conglomeracy, okay, is is uh this Edomite legitimacy is failing, man. Because these devils are not on the same accord. They're not. Boy, not. Of course, you can't have one among among thieves and murderers. This is the book of Revelation 17, 7 verse 15. It says, And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth, great Babylon, America, are peoples and multitude and nations and tongues. And the ten horn which thou sawest upon the beast, 
he shall hate the poor, hate America, and shall wait for desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For all power I put in their hearts to fulfill its will is unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Thou sawest is that great city which really is full of kings and great. I know this city, but it is actually a place which is great Babylon, America, which is called the city. In the scripture, they call it a city. So some people look and go, well, it said a city, it didn't, it didn't say America or a particular country. No, it, it means great Babylon, America, which is a war. Okay? Right. So that's what you see right there. All right. Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and Greece, Ireland, England, Bulgaria, Belgium. Well, Brexit, I just mentioned uh, England, but the UK is part of uh, okay. Well, it's NATO in this case, specifically, uh, speak by the tail of horns. But uh, uh, England, aka the UK, that, that is already uh, uh, involved in Brexit. That's right. So they're already currently and that's the mother of America. Because I'm uh taxing for two So I'm up here on behalf of the British. Okay. Right. Terrorizing the northern uh kingdom tribes, man. So you got ice uh so called Native American tribe again, okay, and so forth. Okay, which now you know, like people in the world with all karma is they call karma generally. This is a judgment from the how about you wish out. That's right. And see, as long as you utilize that, you don't you don't figure how about you wish out. They don't. Since you're so sensitive, you think that you can't fall. But like says, you think you have to be left. Okay. You bring that over here. Okay. Uh, you doubled. Uh, you have a duty for what you need. You have to be able to make those. Okay. That's like I said. Show the point. Right. You have to bring your own shoe. Person and I'll say you just like to go to jail. A sentence means an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart is in is the second is to do evil. Okay? You know, you know, so, so that you live. So your, your mind is the death of my son. That since you're not being taken down right now by my shaking heart, shaking all the high and dangerous. All right? Their liberty to increase with us. That's right. See? That's why they think it's in their liberty. Like the odds, the public, like, uh, 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 what's his name? Lloyd Austin and uh, uh, Anthony Blink, uh, these other U.S. officials and representatives try to, you know, get caught lying, okay? Especially over this whole, uh, this whole Ukraine proxy intel being beat, okay? Which they can have something to do with that distraction. But either way, the inside of their falling, man, it's not on the same. Yeah. Look, on Revelation, uh, back on Revelation 17, so verse 15, this is uh, the book of Amos 1, so verse 11, it says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, for three transgression of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, then cast off all pity, then tear perpetually, and he kept his rod forever. But I will send a fire for the demon, which shall devour the places of Basra. So, here the Lord is going to do what? He promised he's going to do what? Destroy uh, Great Babylon, America, okay? And we know Edom, okay, is the, uh, the empire of the Edomites, the so called white man empire, which spreads. This is not only America. America is a central, you know, and the power source of the of the, queen, of the kingdom of Edom, but you have all these other nations here with these doggone pasty red demons all across the earth, they're known as doggone Caucasians, mm -hmm. that are all part of that doggone wicked doggone kingdom that's dominating the world, okay? And these people don't really think of themselves as evil, okay? They think that God's children, these people don't think of what they've done to the children of Israel, the Asherah, the so-called Latin American Latino, hanging, raping, buck breaking, and all sorts of all doggone evil, wicked acts against us, keeping us in perpetual poverty and everything, okay? They don't see that anything wrong with that. Really what this man is looking for is that bygones be bygones. Why don't we forgive and forget? No, we're not going to forgive, but we're not going to forget. We're leaders of the earth right now, and these Edomite leaders, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a peck of what Donald Trump or peck of what Biden, okay? You're going to be slave. You're going to come. You're going to die here. You're going to come back into the kingdom, 
us or go, or go on a child and you're going to be a slave, you're going to die, you're going to come back again, you're going to still be a slave, die, come back again. Soon the Obadiah 1 and 18, where the Lord is finally going to round all of you, they're going to crack us up and then put you all to death permanently. Go ahead, Al. Obadiah, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, uh, Shane, shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right. Yeah. Well, don't just stay right now. Brother, just say it. All right. It's like this is just going to uh, how, why he doesn't be cut off. All right. Or how, or so how it's Okay. Okay. And, 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 uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh Revelation, you try to go into more uh, detail. Okay. Are you going to be in there? Uh, you're going to be in our room, shoot. For a thousand years, we are going to get up the face of the earth. Okay, because you, because you are the destroyers of the earth. That's why in Psalm 58, chapter, okay, speaks about how you weigh the, you weigh the violence in your hand. Psalm uh, uh, 58, around the, set, the third verse. All right? And it's clearly, and it's clearly talking about what's up in life. It's not being other nation. Because no other nation has the magnitude of the world like, like, like Esau does. And this all, you know what, the problem that, that when you bring up the fact that along with that dominion that you being superior than all the other nations right now, in your own life, in your own right, and in your own mind, yes, sir, you won't take the, you, you don't take, you don't like it when it's read in the Bible that the power, the one that's on the top, those, 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 those mountains, okay, are the ones that the Lord is going to destroy. So it's, it's, it's amazing that this man, you know, he wants to slap you, but he doesn't want to get slapped back. He wants to be everything, but doesn't want to take the judgment that comes with it. You know? Proving this is a weak sissy man. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 25. Behold, I'm against thee, O destroying mountain, said the Lord Yahweh, which destroys all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rock and will make thee a burnt mountain. Mountain is symbolic of the uh, government. Word government, or in the Latin tongue, Fanati, Fanati means uh, control of the mental, meaning mind control. Right? right? And this is why I came out, speaking of which, and bring this out. Spirit. Right? And these devils uh, uh, are just being exposed, man. Okay, through their, their witchcraft, okay, through their media, all right, their politics. And similar propaganda tools and so, and so forth. Now, uh, this is uh, all right. So, uh, that's so anyway. There, there, there was a uh, information that, that was brought out. All right, how uh, these devils, uh, these devils have been exposed to their. Uh, they're tactical with crap. Right? Right. Right. You know, pushing this uh rainbow agenda on the children. Yep. Okay, even though the children are not uh, uh, uh you know having you no know, reached puberty yet, you know, the devil is really you know pushing this agenda. Now this is what I was going into. It says uh now these geeks tell us the publication that they are doing. Say that they were not warned. The pretty is not. Yeah, but that's pretty confirms how much of a coward and child that Esau is because not like he's blatant thing. Okay, and really spiritual uh, uh, that he's doing that because, in essence, all that, all that, thing, that you have to be spiritual to see things. You know, like how I said, uh, blessed are those 
his eyes are open and his ears open up with every yep. But also says in Isaiah 6 chapter. And he says, you know, and Rock Bob says, yeah, not out here. You know, the, the God, the God of this world. Okay, you see, so we consider the God of this world, not a God. Okay, sign it was sign it, sign it, those who are not part of the lab. Okay. Uh, they're not gonna get this because you have the, you have the angels that's blocking them from getting this. Okay. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs 18, starting with verse 10, and it reads, The Lord of the Shekha Shalai is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and it's safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and has a high wall in his own conceit. So again, well, poverty reads a lot of different things around the world. And particularly here in Great Babylon, America reads guilt, uh, not, uh, just sort of smack you. The Greek, it breeds covetousness because you want what you don't have. It breeds uh, worship, idol worship, because you worship those that have it and you, you don't have it. Okay, so again, that also has a covetous. Okay, it breeds uh, um, thievery. Okay, it breeds blasphemy. Okay. And it breeds canality. Okay. And Esau knows that because of that, okay, they always have this thing called the seven deadly sins, and a lot of those is about greed and all the other different things, right? Because this is what has got out of the trap and You don't think this, this man, then you can have all of those seven. That's right. This is Esau's power, and it says, the rich man's well is a strong city. I say, how the before destruction of the man's body, before all of his mental. He that answered it out of before he heard it is born in shame. Just typical typical Esau. Esau does it. Well, what is this guy? Brown, Dr. Brown, coming out with, with crap. No backup, no scriptures to back it up, no proof. I mean, I can tell you, I can stand here all day and tell you, you know what? It's night. But you're looking, you can see the sun is out and it's broad daylight. But I'm gonna come and say, no, it's night. Oh, it's closed and all I see is nothing. You see what I'm saying? That's these doggone people. See, they don't see nothing. The Lord has blinded them and closed their eyes. So that's the reason why they don't see the light and all they see is darkness. And they will not hearken, okay, to the words of the prophet who will come and say, no. Oh, you're the people on top right now. Be proud of it, enjoy it, because you're gonna go into slavery next. Right. So, uh, why did the devil the is right? Uh, is the is the the devil is 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 the this is happening to this American society. Okay, it's completely being destroyed. Okay, geoeconomically, okay, on behalf of uh, America's country dollar, okay, uh, being very diminished and depreciated in terms of the value and, and, and leverage in an international uh, standpoint uh, through international trade. Okay, all these countries are banning the dollar, okay, including India, okay, the rest of the British uh, nation. All right. Oh, and on top of that, I'll bring this out. Okay, some more, uh, some more uh, geoeconomical turmoil, uh, compromises of uh, the dominion, the global dominion of the earth, travel on the Greek. All right, this is what came out uh, recently. All right. And, uh, which is 18,000 cows killed in an explosion. Fire at Texas dairy farm may be largest ever. That's not a question, man. Obviously, cows uh, uh, produce milk. Okay, the cows, you know, milk is, you know, not a good choice right now because the devil is good at every damn thing. Especially torturing these, these animals, including these cows in these uh, uh, slaughterhouses. Proverbs 12 percent speaks to them. Speaks to them. Nonetheless, you know, uh, the reason why these these uh, these uh, major food projects and plants and uh, 
uh, energy plants and so forth that are mysteriously catching on fire because they saw a compromising people's uh, life. These commodities, the sources of these commodities, right? okay? That's why uh, there was eggs on that that you know, that that uh, uh so far mysteriously caught on fire not too long ago. That's why in the midst of this global supply chain slash energy crisis, egg prices have increased over six percent. All right, because he wants to increase the whole value of of life. So that way, he could better justify collapsing this uh, this uh this, this global economy. Especially America, well over thirty trillion dollars in debt, so he can he can present this solution as a safe, okay, to speak of which, all right, bring this out, okay. And this was coming out in a few months. This is what this is what the this is what these devils coming out with. This is um says the IMF International Monetary Fund has just unveiled a new global currency known as the Universal Monetary Unit that is supposed to revolutionize the world economy. Okay, um, and now when you go, when you say revolutionizing that, it's interesting because see, they've gotten everybody used to doing doing all these things with like the uh, with smartphones, you know, just makes you dumber. Uh, all this technology right now, smart teams, all of that stuff, new smart cars, they even have what is called smart cities, right? Oh, yeah, smart was revolutionary. Uh, they, they want to revolutionize the world economy. Okay, so now what they're looking to do is create a new type of dystopia. This is going to be this is going to be very tricky before it all collapse. Okay, and this is the reason why uh, what was that? Uh, Russell Brown says if it was possible, he would be very yeah. Because when they bring this out, this is going to create a new type of dystopia in which convenience is going to be at the top of the mark new way of paying, you can have new type of jobs. All of a sudden, see what they do is they create all that firing and all that, all those like let people people and all that stuff are closing out to streamline the process, all right? But at the same time, they're gonna turn around and they start hiring a whole lot of people, okay? Who really is not gonna be doing anything because you have AI gonna be running the show. So people are gonna be scratching their head and going, well, I thought the economy was bad, but it really ain't bad for a lot of the wicked people, okay? These, especially these other tribes. Jake, so all right, you can you cannot be played by these people and they're going to move the stuff your shit because when they go, hey, ah, the economy is good. I'm sorry for who? <laughs> Not for us. Oh. Hey, it was good for when, when Clinton was in power. Hey, guess what? I was busting my ass three jobs, man. Okay, it was good when George Bush was in power. Guess what? Same thing, two freaking jobs. Same thing with Obama, two doggone jobs. Same thing with Trump. Two jobs, same doggone thing. But for this, I don't know who the hell this old cracker is right now, but you know, it is right now. You must think for what you can get right now. All right? So that doesn't, this is so cool. Don't get it, Jake. You're not in their thoughts. This is not us, okay? Uh, see, Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false pride to keep Mashiach, Mashiachian from Hebrew. Okay? And false prophets. And shall shoot great signs and wonders, all right? Like uh, the whole project blue thing, for example. Yeah, that if they do much, that if it were possible, they shall deceive very elect. Okay, like it says, second Corinthians two and eleven. Okay, let Satan get advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right, the word device in Hebrew, Mahatma means we can invent, including in politics, their 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 uh, their digital currencies and whatnot. Yep. Okay. As a solution to the problems they have worked, the problems they have worked created global. Yeah. So they're gonna they're, they're the part of this uh, uh, process, including their demons and Pope Francis. Okay. Uh, talking about how uh, uh, oh he was he was uh this is the same demon that was uh, uh promoting the market chip of the market beast not too long ago. Okay. No, literally. Got a couple of uh, uh, articles together on that. This is the same thing that said that the only call calls the toilet that he can boss the Ten Commandments because she's a fucking liar for the fact that there's way more than Ten Commandments. And and St. Matthew 5 and 17, how should I say, uh, thank God that I've come to the street. It's a fucking lie, he said. He's a false prophet, man. He's calling the false Christ, false Christ, Christ of Mashiach, okay? 
all right? Same, even it said that uh, 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 sodomites can get married in, in, uh, in, in uh, different Roman uh, Catholic cathedrals and shit. Okay, so well, many more of these, uh, these uh, uh, so-called theologians and these uh, these evangelists and, and preachers are going to come on the scene. They're going to use the guise of religion, okay, tied to the idea uh, of, 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 of the Lord. Right, to justify the satanic church. Okay, and that is that's why the book of uh, Isaiah, all right, Isaiah chapter five, Isaiah chapter five verse twenty. That's like it. Oh, sorry. Book of Isaiah chapter uh Five, like five verse twenty says, "Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter." America means bitter to the spirit, man. So everything, right. every, all the perverse, uh, 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 wicked, abominable, detestable things that are that are that are promoted in America is good are really evil, because America is bitter and it, and it means bitter. Everything has an origin of vibration. Okay, righteous or, or, or wicked, positive or negative. Right? That's why they're pushing the the rainbow, the the, the LGBT uh, 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 folly on on the children. So they understand that children are very impressionable. They want to they want to alter the generations in a way of thinking because that further reveals their pride. But they believe um, that their house shall continue forever, like it says in uh, Psalm forty nine eleven. Why? Because they don't have any fear in the Lord. This is why. Sirach 273 prophesied what? That their house shall shall be thrown down. It should be overthrown. That's so right. that they have no fear. They have no healthy fear in the Lord, man. They don't. They want to see the seat of the Lord. And this is why, this is why when they came back to authority in the Renaissance period, all right, in the in uh, 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 in the late late uh, late 1300, early 1400, they so called whitewashed the ancient images of the judgment, man. Okay, the heavenly father and the angel of the God Sunny Howell, by Shimon Shah and the saints. Okay, or people collectively think of the Lord, they subconsciously think of Esau, you know, so called Caucasians. So they think that's further the capital of it. Uh, one is bitter as sweet, evil as good. Okay, due to their, their, uh, uh, their, their evil as supremacy. Right? This is why the devil has a lot to pay for it. He's destroying the earth, not just not just on, on, on a physical surface, but spiritually, corrupting people's lives, man. Right? But here protesting it, right? Putting their spouses and children to death. The people are in are, are distress. Oh, speaking of it, uh, when I saw a feed, it was uh, usually yesterday or the day before, hundreds of teenagers ran into downtown Chicago, ramsacking cars and breaking windows and all this stuff. And I saw, I watched this little clip, and it was on the news. And the cops was just standing up like this with their arms folded like that. Because they watched them. And a lot of these were like Jakes, Latinos, and so called uh, blacks. And I don't know the mayor or oh, these people, because Chicago is supposed to be like that, on some law terms. And they're trying to bring that out, but they can't bring it out unless we are participants or actors. Just like with the Black Lives Matter thing, with the Toy Story bullshit, but they're all around the world and all this stuff that people marching for. The brutality against so-called black people. It's like, you really believe a group of fucking doggone desert monkey like these doggone Indians give a fuck about us? Come on, let's go. It's all orchestrated like that. Because it's crazy. It's trying to have like pity on us. We're not people to be pitied, okay? You will look at the gods, okay? We are going to be, we are going to be, what is it, the, the power of destruction that the Lord is going to raise up to go and crush these nations. So you know we don't need your damn pity, white man. All right, all you damn folks, we don't need your damn pity. All right, I'm gonna be begging the pity soon. But I don't know why you chase are participating in that. A hundred dollars, hundred dollars, or how, how, how much it takes to double the stupid little double necklace and nickels. Okay, specs. Go run out there in Chicago to go freaking double on. Okay, get this man freaking the gender off the double on ground. Where are the parents? Where are the man of the house to stop this crap? 
because they're part. That's why 66% is a lot of number for your, for your nation, okay? And it's described as a grain of sand, okay? That's Yashrala, so called last name, American Latino, okay? That's how many people uh, Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. It reads, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Okay, so further, that's, a, that, that's a pretty term that the Lord, Yahweh by Shemeshah, is on his own to speak to the prophet. Okay, to speak about the, the fate of the wicked before it actually takes place. Like, just like Noah prophesied for 100 years. People are doing it, okay? Mainly only through the matter, the sons of God, okay? A.K. the Nephilim, all right? Who will fall and eventually go on to the cause of the, uh, the Israelites, okay? okay? It's by Hosea, therefore have I shoot, have I, have I, therefore have I shoot you by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. And then it took as far as the light and close the door, okay? This is the life of those right? The Holy Spirit, right? Uh, 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 tear down the wicked stronghold, the stumbling blocks of the wicked darkness, cause of the compound sin, okay? He saw me, the enemy of wickedness, okay? Drinks like water and words like a garment, says, Oh, no, okay? Because the, 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 the idea, uh, uh, the thought of the Lord. coming right now saying after the army you get to present a damn soldier scanning your pass at the law and annual PT fat lazy feminine fucking piece of shit and you know the so-called dudes there are there are some good service members those are the ones who are running the show that's a that, that's a one percent okay so, you know trying to provide for the family and stuff and try to go for it and keep telling you they're going jakes get the hell out of that so-called black state Americans and Latinos which includes you Mexicans you come up there looking for child shine Okay, you see your nation out in your guy, Guatemala, whatever the case is like that. It's up to you. That'll just go mass military. I saw it personally myself, but they hated you speaking Spanish. Okay. Even my even my service members didn't want to speak Spanish. Oh. Wait a minute, how did you learn don't go in Spanish? Oh, bad. That's why they, they were mentioning you uh noted by the specific branch in the nineteen early nineteenth century and in uh, the late eighteenth century. Okay. By lynching you because they 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 uh perceived you. Speaking of Spanish as being uppity. Yeah, and then, and, and, and they no, you don't have a thing to say, hey, the only thing I see is great. That's so you don't want your Spanish comadres uh, or your the ones who speak Spanish to converse with each other in Spanish. No, they should be speaking English around us. And I saw this many double on time when I was in California, I mean, I'm a national guy. Okay? So it's like, what's wrong with them speaking Spanish? Huh? You don't speak your own language, English. Okay. It's not, it's not unlawful to speak other languages. Okay. Why are you speak making that priority? Because they're the devil. Because they're the devil. They hate you. They hate your ass and stuff like that. But yeah, still, you don't go on. You don't go on Northern Kingdom. You don't see it, man. You don't see it. <laughs> this. It's the book of Second Andrews, chapter 16, seven, yeah. verse 14. It says, Oh, oh the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled, 
it shall not be put out until it consume the foundation of the earth. <clears throat> like as an arrow, which is shot as my mighty turn and not backwards, even so the plagues that shall come upon the earth shall not return again. So the Lord, <clears throat> Salafia, we eat the dust over here. This is the dust over here. Okay. Um, so the Lord is going to close the show in Babylon. Okay, so right now, what you have right now is a building up to that finale. Good versus evil, all right? And we know how this is going to go. But there has to be a damsel in distress. And who's that damsel? Well, we are a that damsel that's in distress called the Asherah. The Asherah is called the Asherah. Distress is the whole wicked man. Let's go now. Some start to cure, some start to make very little kisses like that. Okay, is it just oh, God says He's going to bring a judgment on this place. It's so horrible, it's not going to come back again. And it says, Whoa, that's me! Whoa, that's me! Who will deliver me in those days? Why is, why is the prophet crying? Whoa, it's me! It's not something that we are starting to see right now. Okay, again, this thing is about faith. Okay, it's about faith. And the Lord said, uh, he said, what? He's going to cut off two, two thirds, two parts, and then he's going to have the, the third part go to the fire. Meaning what? You might not get burned. Can you feel a like heat? You can feel a like heat, all right? And it said, you know, some of those great mornings, the beginning of famine, the great death, the beginning of wars, the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What should I do when these evils shall come? People we'll saying, well, I'm not scared right now. They were talking about it, but it's not happening. They, they're talking about peace right now. They're talking about Doug on, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, carbon printing and uh, a new currency that's going to come out of the digital, you know. And it's it's a very flamboyant flavor because why? The whole world right now is is, is, in, is in, in collusion with this Doug man and this Doug on sodomy freaking agenda across the earth. But being a real man on this earth is now considered a crime. Okay? And it says, the old famine and plague, tribulation, anguish shall send us a scourge for mammon. But for these things, they shall not turn from the wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges, which is us. Our people are not mindful of it. Because if you don't have shit here, this place is designed to pick your eyes up every single day on time. That's why you are right now in Oakland, they were, they were looking to get rid of Skid Row in, in Oakland, California. And you should see the crowd as they interview these dog on people who don't have a part to piss in on metal, all kinds of crap sitting outside. They, they speak very proudly. The homeless, the friggin' nobodies over here even have a proud friggin' little way they walk without. And they were Edomites. Well, this is our place in here. We're gonna do this. And I don't want them to put me up inside. Imagine you have so much opportunities over here that you can turn now, being put, taken outside, put inside to a warm place and fed three, four, five meals a day, you know, give them bad and free medication. In other, in, in other, I mean, this is the only place of earth like that. Okay. That's how proud the people are here. And it says, Oh, let us be so good sleep. Upon earth that they shall think themselves in good case. Hey, you get the help, get the red cross. Okay. You get bits. You get uh, yeah. snaps. You get all these stuff. Okay. And guess what? You don't need to work for it if you're a doggone woman. Okay. Especially. And if you're a, uh, a Jake that likes to, 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 like, to like pilfer, you just get snuck up with that woman and probably get it get it for free, you know, from all. And it says, they're taking themselves in good case, meaning what? I I, I try to don't think of the Lord. Yeah, we're not even going to talk to the rest of these people on this earth who worship the doggone so-called white man. And it says, and even then shall evil grow upon the earth, swords, fire, men, and great confusion. All over the world, you will start to see all of this will go, all this will come. Now, it hasn't hit great Bible in America, but there's going to be a time when this is going to come you know, great Bible in America, but you damn people, when you start to feel your dug off fat asses, skin your skin, you're going to dug on wonder why the Lord is doing All right? And it says, for well, many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, hunger, and the other that escape the hunger, the sword shall destroy. You're going to kill and murder each other. Soft boys walk around there. Practically get lipstick on your dug on lips. Just feminine man, but your dog women ruling over you. Got your it. dogs ruling over you. Got a nail polish on. Nail oh. polish on. That's a growing, that's an ongoing trend. You got another on top of that. Men, grown ass men dying their hair. Yeah, dying their hair. 
No. Practically wearing panties, you dug on men and high heels and stuff like that. You're not dug on men. And it says, and the dead should be cast out as dung, and there should be no man to comfort them, for the earth should be wasted, and the city should be cast down the earth. Okay? Think of all the nations on the earth. Okay? All the different flags, all the different towns and stuff. This is what's going to go crazy here on the earth. Okay? Because the Lord is going to create that great confusion here, I pray that justice. Okay? For you people who are going to shed our blood, and all you nations shed our damn blood. Okay? You are a collaborator of a murderer, a mass murderer named Esau, the so-called white man. And that includes the damn kids and these dumb what these, these fucking fat ass white cracker whores walking around the studio like this, they get better than these fuck out. Uh, go ahead, I'll take it. Felt he just did not mind me. Speaking of the military, where I had a buddy going into, I was having, I had a conversation with a conversation yesterday, and um, she, she's uh, she's retired after 10 years. And she's talking about how she's talking about how um, she calls uh, the modern day soldiers when you saw military TikTok soldiers. You know, you know, as reference to the TikTok social media, a lot, lot, you know, further um, in the fact that this young generation is a uh, being indulged in folly, man. No matter how dire the situation is, you know, uh, especially in terms of leading the military, you're still in that folly spirit, man, taking selfies and shit. You're in, you're in the military. You're faced with the, uh, okay, but great possibility of being put to death in the war. If you want to be in a folly spirit, self put on on TikTok. That's because you know why, huh? When you go during the Iraq and uh, the, the 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 Iraq and the uh, Afghanistan war, other than the Marines that were out there in the field, out there fighting, everybody else on the base, or they call it the Forbes or whatever the case is, was playing video games. You had service members going overseas, the war zone, and coming back 50, 60 pounds heavier. Because you got to see the buffet there over there. I'm, I'm just telling you from experience. You should see the food that they have there. Especially if you went to like Kuwait or you went to like Kandahar. Now, if you were down in Ladder Neck where the Marines are, it was a little bit different. Okay? It was a lot different. That's where I was. But people were going over there. They weren't in danger. You're not fighting people who actually can shoot cruise missiles and nuclear missiles on the base. When, when, they, when, you, when you heard the alarm go off, you went under a slab that was about this thick, and these mountain men, they call terrorists, were shooting a thug on uh, R R RPG that could barely go like two miles or whatever cases like that, or half a mile or, or so. And it, it only has a penetration depth of maybe about freaking dug on three inches. Okay? So it's all, it was all bullshit, man. Nobody really was ever in dug on danger. They fabricated a lot of that crap, and most of it was those IEDs that, the, the, that those people foresaw the ignorance of the soldiers them on their cell phone, taking selfies over there. You know, hey, let me get this camera, this funny writing on it. Okay? Show you know, these other people, these other people are warriors and the nation, and they observe, okay, the way these Babylonians behave. And that's the reason why they were able to, you, America should not have lost that many service members, okay, over there against an inferior nation like Dogon Afghanistan and freaking Dogon Iraq, proving when they go against China, these other nations that actually have the same capability, it's going to be a slaughter fucking fest, okay? So get ready to die. You still going crack, crackers and freaking niggas in the doggone military. You're all going to die. I'm just going to tell you, we're going to die. Quick. Uh, this is uh, Second Estrus, chapter 15, verse. Okay, this is uh, Second Estrus, chapter 15. Verse 28, behold, an horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, as in the eastern hemisphere of the world, man. Okay? Especially those nations around uh, the Persian Gulf, all right? The Euphrates River, prophesied in Jehovah the third chapter, Revelation 16 chapter, all right? The nation around uh, Turkey, uh, Don, so we're going to keep the east, focusing in Revelation 12 chapter. So that is just where the nations of the tribes and a multitude of them create as a wind upon earth that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. So it's going to be they're going to mean business and their chariots, their modern day uh, vehicles, in this case, military vehicles, and whatnot. Yeah? Okay, fighter jets, so forth. Okay, so so you devil, so now that's why these nations are. are uh, 
further, you know, publicly uh their their uh uh displeasure with the whole thing price and all that stuff. That's further uh 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 the further fact that the sanction Russia affecting the business deal a lot of the people have Russia living on Russia's uh 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 okay they're looking forward to what okay being that Russia Saudi Arabia are top um, oil producers. Now they're in a the daily line. That's where they're the problem. Okay, because Saudi Arabia, okay, is, 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 uh, through uh, Mohammed bin Salman, you know, essentially announced and proclaimed that they're no longer in the regions with America. That's that's major pivotal news, man. Because going back to 1974, when they, when they struck that deal, okay, it's between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia, it was an exchange for military support from America. Saudi Arabia. Okay, uh, 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 this currency is referred to as the Pex Club. Okay, now that Saudi Arabia is no longer dealing with America and dealing with China, okay, along with the you know, Iran, uh, uh, the BRICS and whatnot, that's part of the, of the dragon of Arabia, these so called Muslim nations. Okay, you know, uh, uh, including Ishmael, the wild man, rising up against Esau, man. That's why that's that's why it's going to be a very bloody battle. Because these these are, these uh these so called Muslim nations are 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 indeed wild, man. They are wild, and that's going to be they're going to be they're going to be they're going to be massacring uh, uh these so called uh, American uh, uh, militia members, man. Okay, men, women, children, and and uh, uh military. Children meaning. Uh, uh, like fresh out of high school or whatnot, okay? You're not going to stand a chance, man, because you live in a corporation, not a country, okay? You live in a corporation, a capitalistic corporation that is designed to feed your flesh, to satisfy your, your flesh. Try to pick it to your, your true self, to your spirit, man. So, you know, at the same time, too, but, you know, so, uh, the of talk shit, but yes, so talking to them, I'm going to call, I'm going to shout at you, so this, blah, blah. And everybody else, that ain't one, one, that's it. But everybody's a tough guy because it's not even that. All right? You have a four that you don't want to think. So, and the fullness of sufficiency, so when this man thinks he's got it all going, okay, he should be in straight. Stop right here. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Who's wicked? Elamites are wicked. Elamites are wicked. Amites are wicked. Okay? Moabites are wicked. All these other nations are going wicked. They're all wicked. Now, Esau and Elamites, so going white man, is simply just evil. He's a real, he's an incarnation of evil. He's, that's why he's the son of perdition, to be destroyed. All right? See, because all these nations now, it's like, like they're awake with us. There was a time, man, before you come in this truth, you really thought the white man was it. You really thought this was it. Esau is gonna, Esau is gonna take he's got the, he's got it all going. Then you come to find out this man was the, the bottom of all nations. He came up cave. Okay. He's the abase of man. He's a son of perdition to be destroyed. He has no future except going to slavery and then actually wiped out of existence altogether. And you can't even help but look at these doggone pathetic doggone people call themselves white people and go, wow. You don't even know your own skin colors. If this is the color white, yes, so you call in your red ass and all the dog time. Okay? I mean, they still play on that bullshit crowd. So that should make you, hey, you should get all this simple man school system, man. They don't, they don't have these schools. Teach you anything. They're still teaching it right now in America. Okay? All there is is that. All there is is that. This is the picture of Great Bound North America. It's not that. This is your future right here. Oh, damn. Get your kids some schools. Guess what? They're not, they, they're just teaching them to accept the LBGTQ coalition. See, they want your kid to accept this crap right here. All right? Man on men, women on women, dog, men, women on dogs, men on dogs, or the animals, the beasts. Okay? This is why, this is why all these wicked, all these other nations are going to come on this logo on hall. All right? This is your future, people. Look at your damn future right here. This is all you have to look forward to is death. Lots and lots of death. Your fat ass is going to starve. Okay? You're going to die. Go ahead, off. All right. Back on that. 
Washington says, Iran recruiting militant allies to launch attacks against Israel. But the idea is to the Israeli government, a top, top ally uh, of, of America and NATO, continues to uh, target Iran, uh, Iran uh, military base in Syria. Because Syria is an alliance with uh, 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 with, with the, uh, Russia and their allies. And Russia has military bases in Syria as well. Okay. But nonetheless, it's been pretty exposed that Esau, all right, Esau uh, is being pretty exposed to his uh, military conflict of eliminating Iran, which was that Esau General Wesley Clark had pretty revealed from Israel how the seven countries that Esau wants to eventually take out in the Middle East. Okay. Libya was one of them, which is why they, they took care of Gaddafi. Okay. Syria is another one, which is why they planned that military coup, all right, in Syria back in 20, or 2011. And they, and they, uh, they, they, uh, they try to uh, frame the, Israel, the Syrian government for that white phosphorus bomb attack uh, that took place in 2017. Uh, you get the very beginning of Trump's presence. Okay. Okay, well, they were, they were uh, uh, attacking Syria, man. All right? You know, and then Iran, of course. A bunch of, you know, a few other countries, but focusing on Iran, okay? Iran understands they're being targeted by by the uh, uh, Israeli government in uh, Babylon, man. Now, that's now they're 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 uh, planning to retaliate because they're getting fed up with these stuff. They're like, yeah, they, that pretty ties to, that's pretty tied to this proxy here. And second, uh, second Ezra is, Chapter 15, verse 30. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as a wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. A lot of the Assyrians are Edomites, because the Assyrians were known as a bloody nation. Right? That's why Nineveh, the capital of, of, of uh, Syria, okay. Is another spiritual agency of America, uh, seeing the name of the third chapter. You find that same chapter, you prophesize how uh, 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 it prophesies on uh, this place being a, a bloody city, Babylon the Great. Yep. Okay. So these modern day Syrians are these, are these modern day uh, uh, magistrates, okay, and, and Chaldeans, okay, which is a warlock, which is a central uh, international crime banking family, man. okay, the so called Illuminati, the Amalekites. Okay, they're all, so they're orchestrating this whole uh, 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 global Edomite agenda. Okay, all right, so it's a, a collapse of global economies, suspend the governments, okay, to present uh, precursors to the peace microchip, to the CBDCs and so forth. Okay, before they eventually implement martial law, okay, and, and, and then further implement full fledged military. Uh, 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 attacks, okay, against your enemies, man. And that's going to start results to those nukes flying, man. That's why America found the greatest promise to be destroyed in one hour in Revelation 18 chapter, okay? Because the kingdom, promise on the Amos 9 chapter is going to be destroyed. That's right, because there's only, because like I said in Jeremiah the 51st chapter, for example, in other words, we're prophesying how we would have healed Babylon, but she she cannot be healed, roughly paraphrased. Oh, we don't want to heal that damn, we we'll heal us all. This okay. place got so wicked, the only remedy is uh, a cleansing agent, which is fire. Okay, lean and healer. There ain't no fairness, and there's no fairness for the children of Israel in this doggone place. All right, that's how it first fire. If that's if you actually got hired, and then you have to go damn thing. Well, see, we have diversity, really. Not because somebody looked like us, is, that means that's one of us, okay? Right. right. All right, you go hide these sound mites and go, it's a blast, man. At least uh, they're not, they're not us. You exactly how you strategically, okay, set up your EO, EOE, equal, equal opportunity employment bullshit online and self identification. What? So that we can self identify ourselves so we can not, so we can be dismissed out of there like that. And that's okay. And we've told you, dug on, it's only going to work with the helpless two thirds. Let me tell you this here. So you dug on Edomites believe that when it all goes down, somehow you're going to walk and go, we're all in the same boat and you're going to be looking towards the so called. Black man, black woman, and stuff, and go. Let's join together and put our resources together and, 
and, and, and, and try to survive because we're now being oppressed by the doggone government. You don't, you're not going to say we're being oppressed by the doggone so-called white man, which is you, okay? You're going to be joined up with a doggone two-thirds set of construction. So that's not going to save you. So don't feel proud of yourself that, you know, the same people that you hate and despise are turning around and probably giving you the, lice, the last slice of their bread from their kid's mouth to feed your doggone Edomite doggone little peckle with kids. No. Those, 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 they're going to be destroyed. It's the 130 lack of Yashrata, us. Okay? We are not going to help you. You're not, we're not going to, your tears will mean nothing to us. Jake and Eve tears is not going to mean anything to us. We've been commanded not to feel pity, okay, for the wicked of our doggone tribe, okay, when they left us been sealed. So you might are not getting old thinking that, well, screw you guys. We get these guys to help us. They can't help you. And because they're scorpion and vipers, what does a scorpion do? Hold it in your hand and see what it's going to do to you. It's going to sting you in its tail or bite you in its claws, okay? And the same thing with a doggone black widow spider or any spider, okay? And Esau is a snake. That's why he was described as a doggone snake in the garden. Okay, he's a, he's, he, he will, what is a snake? Well, what is a, you can hold a rattlesnake in your hand? No, it's going to bite your ass, throw venom in you, destroy you. That's Esau. So snakes, scorpions, and wipers are all going to get together, thinking that they're going to survive the judgment of Yahweh and Shai, and that's not going to be the dug on case. You know, it's not. No, oh, speaking of that, that's why, uh, the fellowship's coming to mind, but it's the land back on that. I'm going to grab uh, Amos chapter uh, five. Uh, bring out uh, verse 19, right? Right? This is uh, from Psalms chapter 2. So, verse 1 says, Why do the hidden age people imagine a game fake? Say, let us break their hand, hands son, and cast it forth from us. He that sit in heaven shall laugh. The Lord, the outside Mashiach, should help them in prison. That is what you see going on right now. They're in the region. They can't get that devil on crown. Now it's not going to be on the FS in some time. They can talk more than shit. He saw the Edomite, the so called white man is on the timeline of the law, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. It's a diversion, okay? So he saw the promise of things. It's a doggone, uh, uh, it's what's happening, uh, January 1st. You see the thing going on? It's the same as business as usual. March of all people. Where is it? Oh, is it? Huh? Esau inciting fear. Another chapter in inciting fear in the book. All right? Okay, that's what we call the Genesis 23. How about you, Mishah? 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 Why? Revelation 12 and 12 is going to pass. That pass is the game where the devil is coming down with great wrath. And it's going to come to the end of July. And they're talking about. Uh, you know that's going to be more basically going on towards small organizations. Then they have to get all these major banks on board. Okay, so there's a cut, there's a lot of red tape because why everybody has their own agenda. Okay, uh, you have on, you have you have a, uh, you have, uh, the left side and the right side, they're all they're both accusing each other. So if any one thing that they're going to as a thief and a mass murder thing that he's going to somehow come under disadvantage, then they're going to block it. So something dramatic has to take place in this earth and again, Great Bible on America in order for the unification of the so-called Democratic and the Republican Party and for people to bring them bow down. The one thing that did take place here, the experiment that proved that it actually can work in the simulation was the... Uh, See, okay, they prove that they can actually classify 70% of the global population. And that's why it says, uh, Hebrews 2 and 14 comes to mind, it speaks about how Yahweh shed his blood for the mission to Israel. Okay, 
he come in his stead just like his brethren, meaning what? He, he, he was born in the flesh, and just like his brethren was that process, found that, that false uh, adoption of a Mac, the so-called Immaculate Conception, and how he shed his blood for the sins of Israel, so, uh, as a further example on how to conquer he who has power to bring death. Yeah, because you can, you can people can look and say, well, it's easy for Jesus to say this and that, or easy for y'all, the outside Mashiach can say this and that because, well, he says at the right hand of the, the power. No, he was made flesh. So he came down here just like us. He had to eat. Okay, the mommy and the daddy, brothers and sisters. He experienced what we experienced, but on a far worse or far greater scale than we did. Okay, we can go through what the Maji went None of us can. That's why he's fashion, he's fashion. 40 days, I barely, I can barely make the dog on death one day. I can't. And I ain't front, I'm not even in front with that. Right? It's true. Like, that's why that's why I love when you know the Maji said, the servants will eat. I pray, I'm, I'm I pray, you know, that we're the servants, that we can eat. Because that's all I really care about is food. Yeah. Uh, you no, know, you women, you better get on board, man. The best way to get on board is to cook. Get your ass in the kitchen, man. Yep. Hey, uh, and, and get your culinary, your culinary art skills. You up, better man. get your culinary art skill together. You are quad, okay? There, the standard, the standard is if you're if you're in this room. I'm gonna come and bowl shot mom. You better get your act together, man. Get your skill together. Then these dog on demons out here. Because if you, if you ain't work crappy, you just want this you get enough to do. Like that. <laughs> you better get your act together. Service is not going to save you when it's all said and done. When when when, uh, when when you really need to put up a show, yeah, you're going to be part. You're going to be part of that. Uh, said that uh, several women that actually said that it's uh, we can make our own clothes and take your name and you know we cook our own food and do all that stuff. Like that, or we just going to just another worthless piece of crap. Or in Babylon, America, expecting mercy. And your beauty is not going to save you, man. Like it's it not. says, uh, what's that scripture? Um, the beauty, the beauty of a woman. Stumble not is the beauty of a woman. I think it's in a, in a uh, stumble not at the beauty of a woman. I'll find it in a second. Not a rough spot. See, that's going to be another snare. Uh, 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 they lost the point. Okay. Now, now, despite the fact that the high genie of women are going to be completely out of, out of whack, man, because for the obvious reason of this society crumbled, man. You know, and, and as a result of this, of this, of this, uh, of this judgment. I remember that. I remember there was a, a case where there was a, a shortage of tampons, man. That's horrible. So you, you, and I'll, I'll leave it at that, man. You know, you put, you, 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 
you know, whoever's listening can put two and two together, man. I, I shouldn't have to even lie about it. Yeah. That's common sense, what I'm talking about right now. So that's, that's a yeah. part of where you women are going to have to have your special needs. And it got to be that much more humble because I don't want to. You're going to smell that. You're going to smell that speech, man. I don't want to be around that shit. Okay. Especially if you run into your life. Okay. And you haven't had the time to shower. Okay, you haven't had time to go do those things, say that. You know, toiletries is gone. Okay. You might have to be on you might have to be, you can't be in these cities. Some of you can be locked up in a doggone house with no electricity, get ain't you know electricity, you know, dripping and sweat, stench of water, the toilets are not running, all that crap. Especially for the Negro woman. Who have to actually come up where the ball bite, the ball bite and the heel might here? <laughs> okay. When them lights start getting inside your here and the cockroaches and double on little mites and stuff and stuff start really coming and they ain't gonna be invisible either. Man, they can be obvious of double on your double on your 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 uh braids have some serial house of life of its own. I mean, literally you can have like them Medusa here stop. Medusa here. Yeah, yeah, your dog on weave will be freaking moving on its own because it's dug on so much lice and and, and stuff inside of it. All right, so this is why the Lord is going to humble that pride of you, doggone women. Okay, why is that? Because your strength is your beauty. Because you really don't, you collectively don't bring anything up to the table. That's why, here in, in the uh, book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 21, it says, Humble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. A woman, if she maintains her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. Okay, a wicked woman abateth the courage. Make it a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. Because she, because she's selfish. She's all about herself. Now, yep. she's not necessarily selfish. Not bad, okay. But she's she's selfish in in, in the standpoint of, uh, uh, uh okay, uh, putting herself first all over the over the house. <laughs> that that wasn't a lot. In case of a woman, so beauty, man. Goes on to say in verse 23, a woman that will not comfort her husband. <laughs> so the prophecy saying Luke 21 and 26, it says how uh, there will be a distress of nations. Okay, a lot, a lot, a lot of women are getting, uh, uh, be getting put to death. Okay. Okay. Including you adulterous women being caught in the act, being caught committing adultery, whatnot, being out of order, being unruly. Okay. You're gonna be you're, you're being found out the Completely worth it. And have to bring to the table to the righteous man of the Lord. You're gonna be you're gonna be treated like that uh that woman uh Mila uh Funis in that movie uh the book Eli with Denzel when she asked Denzel, Can I go with you? After Denzel saved her life when she was investigating rape. And he said, No, you can't go with me. Why? Sure. Because we have we have the authority, we have we have the power. That's okay? right. He just, didn't, he just didn't know it until we were we were awakened. Yep. Okay. So that, that that veil was removed from our eyes, we we're reminded that we're Yasha Allah, we're the sons of the Most High. Okay, we're we're that royal priesthood, man. Yep. Okay. All right. We 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 are the found we we are a part of the foundation of this earth. All right. Because 144,000 of us, uh, Adam Rabbi got us included. Okay. We're with Hamashi after how shy what is world was created. So that's why in Second Exodus the sixth chapter, since we prophesied how this world was created for our sake, man. So you got down right. We walk around with a swag, man. Not be proud. We walk around with a swagger, man. Okay, like if I was to recall, often goes on too. You know, ain't nothing wrong. You know, having a little arrogancy about you, man. Okay, and, you know, it's, it's a balance, and especially when it comes to these women, man. Yeah, you know, because if you if, because you you it's either one or two. What is either two two ways you 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 could be perceived with a woman. Okay, it's very simple, either weak or strong, formidable. Okay. By way that by way of how you carry yourself, man. Yep. And you, you don't have to, you know, you, and, and you don't have to do that in a malicious way. Okay. Because what what makes a man for you in Isaiah 46 and 8, a man of the Lord. I did a lesson on that. What uh, a true man of God, excuse me, a true man is a man of the most high God. Yeah. That's right. Okay, not not predicated off how much how much pussy you can get, how much how, how much ass you can whoop. But what are you what are you willing to die for, man? Uh, uh, what 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 basis of uh, morality and morals and integrity? All right, that you have instilled in you that you're that you're really you're willing to defend and even uh defend by the through your lives, uh, giving up your life. Man. Yeah, like you women will probably look at someone like LeBron James, 
and a lot of these sports athletes and assume, oh, he's macho because he, he has a man couple of mansions, maybe what they call mansions here. Uh you know, more cars than he more cars than he can drive, more money than he can probably spend, whatever the case like that. But yet still, there's a guy that's so so insecure about who he really is that he's wearing high heels, lipstick, and dog on panties. And parading around and actually having a videotape because why? He has no choice because why? He saw them have probably more grievous things on his ass if he didn't do that. That's lightweight compared to what they have probably already had this guy done. He's probably taking dick up his ass. He's probably sucked off a dog, uh, you know, a whole lot of drink kids' blood, probably even murder and drink the damn blood of uh, of, of, of uh, Jake's, you know, little baby Jake's and that they kidnapped at the border. All right? But y'all would look at him from the outside and think that this is, that's what a man is, really. No. Oh. You look at what a man is right up here, right? The man that served you all you shot and my the man that's going to be able to touch you and heal you with their bare hands. You don't, right. You're not going to need Esau or stuff going on spill. The man that's going to be able to create food and materialize food on the tin air and destroy a platoon of Esau and them with ease when they tried to, to hurt the, the left, okay, during the times of Jacob's trouble, okay? The Lord is going to put that spirit in, a, in one of the brothers who are going to get mad and all of a sudden, before you know it, you did what Samson did with a dog on jawbone with an ass. Fine. It scored a bunch of these dog on people. Fine. And grin about it. Fine. All right? This is what's about to come. And All right? And the beauty of that is we're going to be down for the Lord. And we're going to be doing it for the Lord. Yeah, and think about that, man. It's going to be lawless. Think, really think about that. How, how I was, I was, I was uh, uh, on my way to the gym this morning. I listened to a beautiful lesson by his brother. I think he's from, I'm not sure he's camping with him. But he was uh, going to how, yeah, think about what Hamash and Hamash will give for us, you know? Man, how 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 low you get in this truth? When it seems like nobody's listening to you, when you know when it, when it, when the temptation is real, seems like it's overbearing, overwhelming. Think about your yeah, shot, man. What the yep. fuck he had to go through, man. Exactly. So people were constantly looking to put this man to death. Yep. Even his own people. Yep. And he was homeless. Yep. So that's that made the matters even worse. So think about what he did for us, man. All right, y'all Israelites. All right, repent. It's the same Luke chapter ten, verse nineteen. Behold. I give you, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. See that? So Yahweh Shai uh, for the power upon you. That's why Acts first chapter says, uh, you shall receive power in the Holy Spirit. Acts 1 and 8, verse 9. Okay, the men of Galilee were standing around the Isle of Iron, the two angels in white, white garments, white garments. The angels got, the Isle of Iron got mad at the men of Galilee. Man, what the hell you, when your hot shot got, he sent it back, to, uh, sent it rather back into the spiritual realm in a chariot, so-called UFO, for you bug outs out there. Okay. All right. The angels got mad at the other brothers, and they, see, and they said, they said, what are you, what are you uh, marveling at that for? The same way the Son of Man ascended into the heavens, the same way He's going to descend come back to heaven. Right. What does that mean? It's coming back. You can laugh all you want. You're going to be destroyed. Okay. When Shalak Rayam, she speaks. Um, I don't know. You know what? Okay. It doesn't matter. The white man's going to have the white man's going to have some screaming. Oh, everybody said the senora. What is going on? Oh, uh, 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 what did it say? Uh, oh, a Dio Mio. Yeah, Dio Mio. When you see that guy, when you see that, that when you see that chariot, I mean, when you see that missile, when you see that thermonuclear missile warhead, you ready to detonate in front of your spick ass. Okay, it will, yeah, it, you, oh, that, uh, that reminds me, you want that frown gonna be turned upside down like it's exactly. proud signing St. Luke's six shot. The white man come and start sorting your ass at the damn border and fucking come round your ass up out here in El Paso. Uh huh. Yo, 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 might got grin off your damn face, you damn dumb, fucking yeah, want to him fuck. Yeah, daddy, daddy, poppy, okay, you call papito, poppy, uh, uh, he saw they're gonna torture your ass, okay, and if you even can't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't. That's if, you, that's if you even make it that far, man. If you don't make it that far and you're not a DLA, you're going to be put to death in a Christian way anyway, yeah. man. Right, listen, right. So get your ass. You saw, if you haven't seen the characters right now, when you saw us, we got the Northern Kingdom in right now, like doggone dogs. In the meantime, you take the doggone high mice and the high mice and put them up in nice hotels and give them doggone uh, lessons and doggone in the language. What do you do with you? Huh? Put you in the doggone cages like dog. Of course, you doggone Jay, you doggone Northern Kingdom. So, like, here, you don't care about your brothers and sisters at the border. Because again, your ignorance is so great that you even look at yourself, okay, as inferior to yourself. You look at them as Gentiles, okay. You look, yeah. at, you look at these so-called migrants, immigrants, and Gentiles, okay. And ironically, you're fucking, you're a Gentile, man. That's why in uh, see, you know, Rock 21 27, okay, it says, uh, uh, 
Yeah, they do. They walk around in trunk and they soft and don't go catch shit. They soft and don't go catch shit. They soft. Hey, hey, right? like they say the bigger they are, the bigger they are. The and they saw the wall. Damn pussy. They are, and they know it. All right? And see, that's another thing, too. Transition back to you for a second. You see that, too, man. You know, they're very, like, the elder, uh, by your son, the man camp said, that these women have like a demonic prayer. Like, they can sense when the man is weak. Yeah, they, they yeah. sign you up. They test them. Yeah, they, they do. They do, because they go off to them and they chitty chatting with them and all that stuff with that. But these whores, they move out of my way when I walk. All right? They move out of my way when I walk. They don't, they don't, they don't cheese around like that. They don't cheese around like that because why? You're a demon. You're a I don't need you. And man, I'm weak too. They walk out of my way too like that. I'm pint, I'm, I'm what you call pint size. Okay. We know this place is gonna be dog going destroyed. Uh, we throw our hands up every day and pray for it. Right. You know, we don't have to power to you damn women or you will give a shit about your ass because uh, why? The Lord is gonna line y'all up in the thousands begging the man of the Lord to take you in and we're gonna have a choice. Okay? So right now is not the time let me go take you out for dinner and all that stuff. Nah, check you out, check you out to lunch. No, no, no. Go, go on dates and nah, no, man. No, no. Nah, I got this. I was telling the brother. I was, I was, I was, I was fooling around with this eighteen-year-old broad at this uh, uh, gas station. She gave me a number. I haven't even hit her up yet. Go for what, man? I first of all, like she goes. She said she goes to school and work. My my work schedule is hectic. So what what time do I even have to deal with this broad like that, man? Okay. And the only the only the only day the only the only like. Sunday's camp day, so that's not today. No, the point of the matter is, man, they're they're minuscule, man. They're, there's no time. And I can say they go and, and, and using that as a for example of Ecclesiastes third chapter, it says it's time to play man. Yeah, a time of war, a time of love and peace. It's not a time for love and peace, man. Like, it's not the time of war. Like they Jake the say in the world. Because that's something like cuddle, cuddle season. Yeah, yeah, ain't no goddamn damn time to cuddle, man. Damn war. This man is spilling our damn blood. Are right. you people want to don't want to shake hands with your dog on enemy east or the so called white man? No, oh, this is a time of doggone blood, and you saw blood is gonna be shed right here in Great Babylon, America, and of course, it's still going right. Let me bring this out for you, doggone, doggone, uh, doggone niggas and specs who doggone think this is a, a damn joke. It's Lamentations, uh, the book of Lamentations, chapter three, seven, verse two, and it says, My enemies chase me sore like a bird without paws. Hey, I'll put the water in the cage like a doggone dog. Okay, they're putting you doggone, doggone, you doggone out, Lord, and in there. Okay. They took, they took Jake, beat Jake down and put Jake's in high heel shoes, throwing him up in the prison system, working work for 30 years. They go, oops. Yeah, and they proved that you didn't go and do that. All right, they will let you out. I guess what I know is, fuck yourself now. It says, they have cut off my life in a dungeon. Great Babylon America is a dungeon. I cast a stone upon me. When you get a stone cast on you, you can't damn move. So there's a lot of weight on, our, on, on, on the tribe of Asia right here in Great Babylon America. Okay? It's like running a race with body all leg locked off. But you're expected to complete that rate the same at the same rate as the other doggone nations here in Great Babylon America. And if you don't do that, oh, well, you just people just 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 doggone lazy. Really? Well, you don't think we need brass off the board if you have doggone imprisonment and slavery and freaking abuse? Okay? It says, they have cut off my life in a dungeon in America and gas is thrown upon me. Waters flow on my head, and then I said, I'm cut off. I call upon the name of the Lord, out of the low dungeon of America. That's why we open up. Praise the Lord. That's a close praise the Lord. That's why we always pray on the judgment of this so going to put your dog on that place. Damn, what a damn fucking life here. Let me show you again, once more again. Okay? Bring your damn memories up here. Let's not play dog on games, El Paso. You people ain't special. Right. Most of you in high debt with your dog on mortgage. Okay? You don't own your house. The bank own your dog on house. All right? I know the whole scoop of the dog on real estate on here. People are broke. Broke, broke, broke over here, man. Okay? And the master of the these double house and mortgages. So why are you, why are you proud? You don't own it. You don't want to deed to your damn house. And it says, Thou hast heard my voice. I not thy ear at my breathing, at my cry, which we are crying daily. Thou darest draw us near in the day that I call upon thee. And I says, Fear not. You don't fear you, man. You don't fear Trump. You don't fear 
a woman, you don't pay a penny if you don't go shit there because why? This is your damn fucking future right there. All right? Cowards. Speed your damn vehicle up because what? Damn cows will not want to hear this. Oh, uh, that's not that cool before it's fine. Okay, so we don't, we don't, we don't really take much. Let's stop the end here. Yeah, they're okay, they're, 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 you do some little volume. Yeah, like, they laugh, they laugh at because why? You laugh because he, because you know you're a coward. The person sitting next to you is a damn coward. Stand with nothing. Except this dog on Rainbow Coalition crap. Where this man is going to tell you that a dog on man can lie with a damn man, a woman can lie with a damn woman. Are you dog on agree with that? What kind of parents are you dog on so called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos? You're a dog on sick fucking cowards. I can't wait until the Lord start putting you all to dog on death. That's right. Sweet ass. I hope your house is burning down tonight. Fine. What are you right. going out to your house is like, oh, look at my house. You don't own a damn house. No, Where's your deed and your title? 30 year mortgage, you call that freaking not going to own in a house? Speaking of uh, you know what, Keenan tribe and judging, specific folks on your northern tribe that's obviously family around down here. Over there in Mexico, there's another deadly shooting. The results, and I, I believe, it was 26 people. I, I, I don't know. 26 fatalities down here. <laughs> Okay. And a lot of people say, and, and your, life, your life's not bad anyway, especially when you're, when you're, uh, right. you come out here, you barely can speak the language, as they always like to say, so these all don't view you all as valuable. Some reason you got you 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 all genius. Oh, oh, the products that looks like the dog on northern kingdoms that are out here doing it, and they may actually be dog on. They may actually be Judah. The Judah's raised up first. Okay, they may actually be Judah. The rest of you hide like dog on dog on feminine little dog on cowards, but yet still you call yourself machismo. Where, where where's the machismo? Son, yourself. Homosexuality is the wrong oh, oh, as long as it doesn't bother me. No, it bothers me. Because I'm a prisoner in this doggone place, man. Uh, like I said, please ask for 77. It's like your uh, oppression makes the wise man mad. Yeah. All right. Wickedness. All right. Wickedness is a. Uh, 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 first of all, wickedness is our kryptonite, man. Once, once we once we have. Uh, 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 we learn who we are, okay? You know, we uh, both remember it's in Malachi, the. Uh, uh, third chapter, like it says in Malachi, the third chapter. I can't okay. wait. We we learn, we 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 learn true love of the heavenly father. So we hate what he we hate what he hates. So we're splitting. Well, I know the wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, I don't talk about that. I know what that's too. I think I get the mansion because I just bought it. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, about apostles, black thing. So that's the reason why the Lord is gonna it's gonna transform his flesh. Well, actually, this flesh is gonna just, just it's just gonna burn the thing of fire. We we ask for it and we take it over and put it into the actual yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, resort should be seven dead. Oh, that's All right. And what's almost complete? Our uh, you know, our prison senses we have to serve here and our enemy, right? Yeah. Babylon the Green, Great Land of Confusion. Okay, the, the place of drawing waters. Okay, the Golden City, the city of uh, prosperity, the the, the uh, merchant city. Okay, the city of merchandise, America. Babylon the Great. The West is all okay, located in the West. Still, uh, the still was there, man. All right, and to be captives here, all right. Generation upon generation. So now that 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 is not, but the United States. 
Okay, that's in our prison, as I mentioned. Okay, in the beginning, in the beginning of his prison, it was a team life. He was a nation. Oh, oh, well, the Lord has got, the Lord has dug on, got something for y'all dug on for right here. Right. Okay, I got something on. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 13, Psalm verse, 13, uh, Psalm verse 11. Listen carefully, it says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy. And who's arrogant? Esau, the Edomite, is very arrogant. Okay, along with you, dug on Jake's. Okay, then have that arrogance because you look at your doggone brothers out here and you think that because Esau is smiling in your face, okay, with his proud ass, that both the bottom line is that somehow puts you on an equal level with him. Keep thinking that. And it says, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden badge of offer. Now, when you talk about man, he's not talking about you damn feminine Edomite, you feminine dug on Jake, you feminine dug on Hamite, you dug on feminine Elamite. Let me speak it in English. You feminine dug on gooks, crackers, niggers, specks, or whatever the hell it is out there. He's not talking about, he said man, not bag, not sodomites, okay? You will make a man, not a sodomite. All right? More precious than gold. And even than the golden badge of pauper. All right? Why and he, he didn't use the word badge. When you think of badge, badge is usually part of a circle, right? So that means what? It's a very small particular pie. Well, you go, you know what, sir? Can I have a badge of cheese, please? <laughs> you always got a small little part of it like that. Uh -huh. All right? That's how the Lord of the, the man, the servants of Yahushua and Mashiach is going to be. He's talking about the hopefully that. The man that is standing up boldly against this wicked place and saying, you know what, you faggots, you sodomites, you feminine men, you're going to dug on die. And the great Bible of America is going to dug on perish. This is your damn future. You don't like it, and we don't care that you don't like it because it says so in the scripture. All right? Your damn future in your metal coffin is death in the great Bible of America. Get used to it. All right. Okay. See? Yeah, you can be, like, like, uh, you know, look, trying to cry to us. Yeah. Because you know, we know where to find us for the most part every Sunday, but we're not going to see what you understand is this is not, uh, this is temporary, man. This is very temporary. Okay. Find a uh, book of Corinthians says, uh, I believe it's Second Corinthians 4 chapter says, God of things that are that are eternal that cannot be seen, seen temporal things that can be seen. So right now we could be temporary to see. Okay. Ooh, I got a Lexus. Okay. No. And, and more importantly, when the bitch is all not desiring the temple thing, you, you know, like his brother said, he even gave an example of the Lexus. Okay. You know, a tangible uh, item that, that appears to have worth a vehicle, a job, you know, a woman. Okay. And so forth. Uh, that is the proverb chapter 8, verse 4. And it says, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Man. Yeah, oftentimes the Lord will refer to you know his his servants as uh, sons of, uh, of men. That's how it dressed like Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel, for example, son son of men. Son of man give him give him statements, for example, right? So the only men this is the only man of men this is talking about is men of Israel. Like it says in uh well in the second chapter, Acts the second chapter. Okay. And it also confirms order, okay, in, in which the Heavenly Father, okay, the Heavenly Father congregation starts with you. Okay, you know, women, the only place women have is to be servants, man. That's why even when I look at name, the Queen of Sheba came to visit King Solomon. She fainted. Because she was so, she was so appalled on how uh, King Solomon um, had his house. Right? Yep, yeah, King Solomon. Solomon. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's why she fainted. Okay, spiritually. She, because she saw how he had, he had everything decked out. Even his servants were so decked out. She thought the servant that the first servant that addressed her was King Solomon. That's how much he was, that's how much uh, how fallen he was spirit. Exactly. And you then you look at it, Ma, Ma, you say that. Okay, you know where uh, I said, my father have like mansions. I would uh, uh, a fair place for you. Uh, mansion, these these are mansion over here, man. What they have here on this earth. Okay. Esau is building out of the doggone soil of the ground, the material. 
to show you just how badass Yahweh Yahweh Shia is, okay? Yahweh Yahweh Shia Yahweh Shia created us for the dog on dirt on the ground. Take a look at this complexity of the human body, which they just still discovering, okay? Is what? Below the dog on dust, okay? Right. So imagine things that, and minerals and, and uh, things that they haven't even discovered yet. That's right. Okay. Will you describe what the, the heavenly kingdom is going to look like? Street of translucent gold, all the walls of all these different gems and stuff. 12 big gates, which I don't see right now. In Jerusalem, the faggot city right now that he's still going to Amalekites are at right now. Okay. Proving to you that the wealth oh, is going to be so great. And Yahusha and Mashiach, when he came down, okay, uh, as King Solomon, he showed that just in this in ordinary flesh. Imagine when he come back as the God, the creator of the universe. Right. Um, you know, don't want to worry about don't want what Esau think about you. Why in the hell we've been standing here almost two hours, no sunburn. Show me a dog on Edomite, a so-called white person who stand up here this long without damn sunburn. Right. Show me one. Inferior, man. Okay. <laughs> you your people are so simple, man. And that's why that's why they fear us. There's a reason why the dog on elites. We're not talking you dog on peasants, okay? It's kings, okay? The the servants of Yahushua Mashiach is speaking. He's still going wicked dog on kings sitting in that dog on dungeon hiding from the face of the Lord Yahweh Shin Yahweh Shai, okay? Waiting on his return in great fear. We're not talking to you dog on people in your metal coffin. We're talking to the dog on kings of this earth, who we call bitches and who's going to be our servants in the kingdom. All right? This is what you're going to be dealing with here. We're letting Joe Biden know America is going to be destroyed. Trump, you come and sit on a wicked seat. America is going to be destroyed. In fact, the Lord has you actually saying it every doggone day and every interview you do. Why? Okay? Because you know it's true. Go ahead, Al. This Toby, chapter 13, <laughs> verse 11. Many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord God, Yahweh, with gifts in her hands, even gifts to the king of heaven. All generations are praised in great joy. It's going to happen. All right? Uh, uh, when we're in the kingdom, man. But before that, Okay, there's a there's a, a handful of prophecies that must come back, you know, things that must transpire before these nations bow down before us. So right, COVID 13 and 12 says, Cursed are all they which hate thee, and blessed shall all be which love thee for mm -hmm. right? That's why we that's why here in verse 13 says, Rejoice and be glad for the children of the just, the elect, the elect of Israel. That's right. right. But they shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord, the how by Shem and Shah the just. Oh, blessed are they which love thee, for they shall rejoice in thy peace. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges, for they shall rejoice for thee when they have seen all thy glory and should be glad for others. Okay, so right now we're, we're peaceful, man. And it says in Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay, now we're, we're, uh, 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 you know, we're, we're, how we be stable in our minds, okay, what love the truth, not how people will collectively die. For the names not being written in this book of life, Damn right. uh, without this, without you know, uh, without the love of the truth, like it says in our uh, second testimony, that's the these people out here, uh, rioting, uh, looting, that's right. begging, and begging and searching for uh, uh, food and water that's no longer substance for them that they because they thought that she was being. I mean, you look at these people off when you're speaking on that, when you look at these people right here, they all right now sitting around hoping that when that happens. It doesn't come to El Paso. Huh. It doesn't come on whatever the hell this on road name is. It doesn't come on your, your nice little house that you have the 30-year mortgage on. Okay, you're gonna be hoping that. And we're telling you that those doors are gonna be coming to your doggone to your to your place. This is real. This is also scriptural. And uh, you think Esau, you think the doggone so called white man is gonna ask you nicely to take this stuff? What did it say? It says it's going to cost many who don't bow down to die. You know, there's no exception. There's no exception to any of you. Your 401k is not going to save you. You can turn your music up and, uh, and not listen, but that's okay because when it starts, you'll be looking for the prophets that were here to warn you. That's our job is to tell you wicked people, okay, the Lord is going to destroy this place. Right. All right. The only reason he has it is because the, uh, he hasn't allowed the angels to, to let go 
of uh, the four corners of four wings of earth, like said Revelation 7 chapter. Why does the elect most likely not complete shit right oh, now? Oh, we still have a lot of work to do. That's why we're still out here, man. That's the reason why we, and you saw you can't touch us during the time of our prophecy. You've been warned about it. Why can't you touch us? Toby 13 and 14. And 14. Oh, blessed are they which love thee, for they shall rejoice in thy peace. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for thy spirit, for they shall rejoice for thee. When they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever, let my soul bless the most high God, Yahweh, the great King. For Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones. Thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. Now, the brothers going into man. These are two mansions, man. Okay, two in the mansion and in, 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 uh, in heaven, and so for outer space, the second heaven, right? Hey, uh, you know what? And you talking about those mansions and stuff. You go to get a house built around here, you gotta do four or five inspections. You gotta really go hardcore with the dog on bill them to freaking dog on up bill you junk and try to charge you hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. Let them know you're not, you're not, you're not to play games. Because why? The inferiority skills of these dog on men okay, cannot be compared to Alba Shimia Shai. It cannot be. They keep talking about that space program. Well, 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 where's the space tourism? Why don't you take people up there? Because you can't go in the space, you dumb fuck. Uh, okay? Which one? But they call satellites these dog on balloons when they have high altitude call like, uh, they have high, high altitude balloons. Okay? Mm. Or where they fly in orbit. Okay? You cannot go in space. The law is not gonna allow you, it's not for you. All right? So you have to create imaginary things like these movies and all the other stuff. Go ahead, huh? Uh, Toby 13, 17. It's stuff, Jerusalem. Shall be paved with barrel, carbuncle, stone, and altar. And that's why in Isaiah 13, chapter, the Spirit, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, said he would make us, he would make his men of Israel, the elect men of Israel, more precious than fine gold. All right, the finest gold of gold. Okay. Tobit 13 and 18, and all her streets shall say, Hallelujah, and they shall praise him, saying, Bless the most high God, Yahweh, and the extolled in her it's going to bring us from very low back to very high. Okay? Why is that? Between the Lamentation, the fourth chapter, and at the very end of that chapter, it prophesies what I'm going into. Yeah, and you know what, guys? Don't think that this high is going to be something we can get a whole lot of dog on Esau's money and be rich and all that stuff and get a nice mansion and stuff like that. No. We're already high right now. When you were in a doggone world that you didn't know, and you identify yourself as a doggone African American, that's doggone low. When you were in a world and you are looking at these doggone five pacey doggone piece of crap, Edomites as doggone superior to you, you are in the doggone low. When you look at a doggone decent, doggone degenerate, looking retarded, sunny eyed gooks, okay, with Down syndrome looking people as possibly the next rulers on this earth, and they're above you and they can kick your ass when you go to that little shop and all that stuff, you are low. We now have the spirit of Lord Yahshua and Mashiach on us to come on the highway and the byway. I boldly tell these people, if you don't repent as a Hebrew Israelite, you will die. And if you are these other nations, you are going to die. You are going to slavery. There's no if, buts, or ands about it. That is what is supporting the future. Just don't go on God. He's gone. He's gone all right now. Who's going to go and stick this crap up your dog on little flimsy fat ass? Okay, real soon. And this is going to happen because the Mashiach, okay, said so. He's right. putting that spirit in him to go do that. All right? Just like how he's put the spirit in us to do the righteous thing, which is what? To go and feed his sheep. Right. And love him. It ain't how you feel. This is not our ministry. We're not out here for entertainment. We don't care about you damn people. We only care about the left. We're out here for who you call, like we call Jesus, the Mashiach. We don't work for any man. We don't look at the please any man. We don't worship any man. We don't insult any man, okay? While it is day, I come home, right? Represents uh, darkness. What 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 manner? Okay, the duty is it's a flash shot. Oh, I see the team. To make war with the remnant of our seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High God, Yahweh, 
guys when you come around like that. I can bind up, which reminds me of a second edge being sick. Chuck, you know, that's what I'm saying. Think of that. You have to have that. Um, I'm curious. I'm just right. Uh, pulled up. Yeah, that's okay. It looks like a woman. Yeah, it's something about ass. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be popped. She's gonna get popped. She don't belong. She don't belong to one of them. Somebody, 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 somebody gonna drag her off of them. Pop her freaking little crunchy ass. She's gonna stop her and get this word. She goes flip her. Uh huh. Because pursuing the second edge was uh, chapter 15. You didn't have no damn. You think you talk? You think these Edomites gonna look at you and see you as your 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 authority? Jake, if you're a dog on Van East, dog on monkey suit, call cops and dog on military, okay? These Edomites are gonna put your ass to death first. They don't see you as dog on equal with that dog on monkey suit on. I can tell you that for a fact from personal experience. Okay? They don't. You just a damn number and a stupid four hundred thousand dollar a year, a four hundred thousand dollar if you dug on die in battle, insurance, which is tax dollar. In fact, your paycheck actually pays for that. In fact, why you have to pay as an active duty person or even a reservist? Why you have to pay for your own life insurance in the military? That's got black look about that. They they deduct thirty forty five dollars for family for life insurance. So you constantly pay your own debt. Okay, serving in this damn man's force, who then turns around, you have billions of these other doggone forces out here, all right? But won't take care of some of doggone people. But then they get the director right about how bad Jake them is in the military, and how bad everybody is in the military. I mean, y'all are damn, well, y'all are doggone stupid. I can't wait till all the AWOLs start, because there's going to be a whole lot of AWOL. When y'all start getting the feedback, okay, of all the deaths that's going to happen to the doggone U.S. military in the beginning, right? All right? Yep, I'm coming, man. Revelation 12 and 17, we're about to say how. The dragons would be would be rough with the woman talking about the bride, the woman bride of, of Yahweh, Abba Yahweh. And that's that's how the nation of Israel. That's right. You know, we're, we're married into it. That's right. And then when it said that he was gonna the dragon was gonna make war with the remnant of this woman, so he's talking about the, the uh the offspring of this woman, the Israelites. Yeah, I mean guess what? He doesn't win. He is gonna mask a lot of us people and he's not gonna be able to touch the elect. Uh, yeah. He's not gonna be able to he's not to be able to compromise the salvation of the elect because the, the, the souls of the elect are already sealed. The fate of the of the souls of the elect are already sealed in his book. Okay. Well they need to do get the word, and that's why the line back with the brother was saying, okay, when 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 this, this demon uh this 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 lost soul, you know, uh, uh rode by, okay. Um uh, well I turn up the music. That reminds me of the scripture in St. Matthew, which says that we are pots unto you, but you, but you refuse to dance. You remember, if you're refusing to, you refuse to dance, it is a spiritual song that we're performing. That's the song Moses, so called Mosaic Law. Okay? Well, you know, Moses was the one who was Moses. Yeah, 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 Moses was the one who was Moses. Okay, don't you see four? Because she's 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 got a hand, one hand around her, her husband. She can lose herself all the hand. Go stand up here. Why? Because it's force. Okay. Go back and go ride and go ride in the sunset, whatever the hell you're going. This ain't no game up here. We're not going to wave to your ugly dog on that aspect. You see, she's ugly bitch from freaking dog on from this distance. Yeah, I know. Like, we're supposed to dog on wave to you. We're kings and gods, man. Fuck out of here. Yeah, see, that goes, that goes to the vibration. Look, sir. We don't give a fuck with that. We're not out here to be friends. We're not. Hey, you're not, we're not, we're not, uh, you know, so that, all that shit don't mean anything. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. If you're a woman and you come up here, you're going to be in order, and that's how you will get this word, and then you go in your merry way. This is not a pickup place. We're not here to we're not here to pick up you. We're not we don't we're not here to date you. Nothing. We don't want you. We're here to give you the word and you will be treated exactly like how we would treat any other sheep out of, of Yasharalo. With this truth. And nothing but the truth. That's it. We're gonna feed you the, the food that's convenient for you, like it says book of Proverbs. All right, and like how Shah said in St. Matthew's four chapters, the man cannot live off of bread alone. I speak of that. This is uh Sarah, chapter 26, verse 4. Whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart towards the Lord, Yahweh by Shim Shai, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. And okay, so you wonder why brother well, sister might not have shit. They're always smiling because there's zeal power. Right. 
because they understand the significance of spiritual riches, right? That's right. Okay. Whether they know the truth or not. Especially when they know the truth. Yeah. Okay, because they know we tend to we're poor. We don't we don't we don't we don't live in so far man. No, no, we don't live in this shit anyways. Boy, you gotta pay taxes on that. Yeah. I mean even if you had a, I uh I, I have a I own a car. You gotta okay, pay taxes. And I got an end and I got an I have to register it's Esau annually. Okay. I am paying for a driver's license. It's like, who, who you live with? It's just, it's just a more and more. And a whole a system that's set up a constant breed. Okay? So when they bring on this stuff, guess what? This is your idea, and this is how you're going to pay. How are you going to pay DMV? You got to pay with a chip. How are you going to dug on pay? Are, are you going to show when you get put over by the cop? Guess what your idea is? A dug on chip. So guess what? If you don't have the chip, you can't do what? You can't pay DMV to register your car, which means what? You can't drive. Legally, then that means you're driving illegally in your car, which means means you're gonna get fined and throw in jail. Which means what? In order to pay your doggone bond, okay, or get represented by a lawyer, you need to what? The doggone chip. You see how this works? There's no way out of this doggone thing unless they're marshy out. Okay, a seal, uh, a seal will part of the living and protect you from this crime. Okay, and the most important thing during that time is going to be what? The ability to eat. The ability to eat, because you're gonna have this conflict. Okay, when. When, when, when these, when these, when these uh, wicked nations get together and they try to come up with this conglomerate dollar, okay, or this conglomerate uh, currency in the digital style, and they're saying, peace, 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 okay? That's not going to be any doggone peace, okay? Think about it like, okay, remember that movie, uh, uh, Malibu Most Wanted? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right? The dude didn't like the, uh, but Jimmy uh, Kennedy played, uh, he, was, he liked the girl, right? Who was a, a dude's yeah. ex-girlfriend, yeah. Eve, right? Now, they went on a shootout. Jimmy Candy character believed that everything was all on a joke because he found out that he was getting played. So he jumped up with a dog on real gun and started spraying. And the so-called thugs, and they ran. Well, this impressed Jake that he stood up there, right? Not knowing that this guy was actually ignorant, right? But so they shook hands. He actually brought him into the crib and brought him into the little gang thing here, like that, and said, You know, welcome. That the only way out is in the box, right? No, they go to a house party. But in a matter of an hour, he's inside the room with a girl just talking to him. He, Jake walked inside to see that, and immediately he just brought him in. And he immediately pointed a gun at him to say, Man, I'm going to cancel your ass, just like that. That's what's going on in the world. These nations are going to look and say, You know what? All right, let's stop fighting. Let's just see if we can get along like that. And that's gonna be a very, very short time before somebody offends somebody and they go right into the whole world war three kick off. Just like that. It's gonna take place like that. All right. Okay, so you see now you see these people who are actual war they saw uh uh civil war, right? Like what yeah, that was going on, a replication was going on down in France. Okay, it's coming to a city near you, man. And so yeah, and you know what happened? Yeah, you people should be concerned. The Babylonians are natural animals. You people are natural animals. All right, you're gonna break in like this, and this is coming to America real soon. Okay, they're poisoning your lakes. They're poisoning the water. This man is coming and saying water is not essential to you that you don't even deserve to have water to drink. All right. They come with bullshit and carbon footprinting. Because why? The wicked have nothing else to think about. They have everything given to them. They have everything. Which they have taken by what? The sword. Yet still, this man cannot be satisfied until you have the flood, okay, of everyone on this earth, okay? I see right now, it has always been about Jake being, being the one under the slaughter. But the rest of you damn people, including your doggone Edomites, you know bodies, are under the sword too. And this is a judgment come from the Lord Yahweh Shina Shai, because he created this man to be that wicked piece of crap on this earth. This is coming to Great Babylon America real soon. Okay? Your bellies are gonna get real flat. Okay? Your many of you men are gonna start to see a ball soon. Because why? Your stomach is flat because you're starving. You women with your big loud ass, which is gonna turn going to turn real flabby and flabby. Why? Because you're gonna lose weight so quick because it's not gonna be any food here in Great Babylon America. Okay? You're not going to be thinking about no damn future here in Great Babylon America. You're not going to be thinking about going to school or playing sports or any of the doggone thing in Great Babylon America. You people are going to doggone be a horror show real soon. Dr. Ashes, 
chapter 15, verse 16. That's why here, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands, like what they're doing down there in France. Uh, 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 many larceny, I mean, arsony rather, lighting car, lighting vehicles on fire. Okay. All right. Looting, pillaging. Okay. All right, indulging in uh, deadly riots. And this is going on in, in, in multiple places of the world, not just France. All right, because, you know, people are being, uh, uh, people are being uh, found out. So why? The jig is up with you eating my and a whole vibration of your democracy, your patriotism. It's all crap. You're, you're oligarchy, you know, the other shit, man. Okay? All right, your diplomacy. What's the philosophy as a whole has definitely impacted the world. That's why the oath is coming up against you, like it's prophesied in the Solomon 6th chapter. In Job 20 and 27. Okay. So second Ezra is but when it when it, when, it, when these things seem to happen, it's really uh really uh a, a testament, a further testament of how wicked a Babylon is, man. It's why this these are pretty insigned of destruction in America. Man. The where we we are we are the precipice of the the the, the, the near complete destruction of East of Eden. Yep. All right. In terms of his rulership. Because you won't completely be destroyed until a thousand years uh, after serving this man. This is second Ezra 15 and 16. So they shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. That's right. And the course of their actions shall stand in the call, like Yana Sri Lanka. They evaded that uh, politician's home and it just and, and made themselves at home. They were jumping up for a full uh you know, just 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 uh invading his space, man. He, and he wasn't even, I don't think he wasn't even there. He knew better than to be there. And he knew well, he knew where he lived. That's right. He was coming after their ass, after yep. his ass. Yep. Okay. A lot more of you, you politicians, you a lot of you cops came put to death. Like oh, yeah. in Milwaukee. This, this is gonna be ongoing trend. Yeah, this is gonna be these Edomites that's gonna be doing it. It ain't gonna be Jake. They'll try to blame Jake, but it's gonna be these still going Edomites. These Edomites still going when they see they're losing their stuff right here. Okay, you see some of them drive around here with spikes in their double on lip and their tongue and their hair. You know, multiple piercing and all that stuff. Of that, you think they want to give up this life? You got a lot of this place is full of double on ex veterans or, 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 or ex uh, military or veterans, skilled all kinds of crap. They're gonna put those damn skills to use. Okay, if you think that they're gonna bow down, no, the Lord is gonna put that spirit. Okay, and them the door going through. That's why he said Egyptians versus Egyptians. Jack is weak. Jack is a sheep. We're a sheep. It ain't gonna be us against them. They think they get them. These Edomites think they're going to buy all those damn weapons and automatics and all this other crap, especially in these states like Texas and uh, uh, Florida and uh, uh, what's the name of the one in Nevada, where you can buy a dog on stuff, you know, AK-47, a machine gun, high caliber weapon. They think they're buying that for God's sake. The back of their mind, for the simple, individually, they think, yeah, I'm getting this in case some niggas come around like that. Yeah, niggas, uh, niggas are going to come around. Judah, there's going to be a terror in this place once all the job goes from the head and the tail. Because and what they say, what's the thing? An idle hand makes uh, idle hands make what? Something like uh, when you when you get nothing to do, Jake them ain't crazy. Don't assume Jake them scared of death. And they're, they're they're not. They're not. They don't give a shit. And Esau, they've been practicing putting deleting each other. Okay, Esau providing them with the weapons to delete each other because why? That judgment on us is what our evil eyes towards our damn brother. Okay, uh, yes, even the niggas are our damn brothers, but they're a separate nation. Okay, they're a separate nation. Because they would rather stay you than to go and say the actual people who actually really really play oppressing them or staying there dog on a household. Yeah, idle hands make idle mind. Yes. And idle mind is gonna think of a whole lot of shit that they're gonna do. Jake them, Jake them like that. And they get creative too. And they're gonna join these Edomites in a lot of the dog on stuff. Because they all because remember, Jake them constantly is looking for what? Approval from the so-called white man, and they don't even look and go. This dude, this cracker don't even have a damn part to piss in. And you, 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 why you need to approve from his ass? That don't make any doggone sense to me. Why do I have to kiss your doggone ass with you have a doggone part to piss in? Huh? That's a simple Jake Sim really are. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. Let's get to uh, Matthew. Yep. Matthew chapter. 24, verse 12. It reads, 
because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. There's no, there's no love. Nope. Okay, let's be just for all. There's no, that, that, that's, not, that's not love. That's, yeah. that's, that's, uh, uh, that's uh, disorder. Yeah, where's our love? Anybody stop here and show us love? Yeah. Huh? Where's the love for us? But yes, so when you stop here, they'll go, we see you all here all the time, really. Well, yeah, what the fuck do you mean? What does that mean? You might, you, you, you might, you, you're better off just driving off and you're going to uh, say some shit like that. That's, that's called, that's called, uh, 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 vain, what do you call that? That vain speech. Yeah, that's hot air. That's what, I'll, that's, that's pretty much what I was looking for. Yeah, we don't need, that's hot air. We don't need you. We don't need, we don't need you to say that. Well, you know I, you are. Up behind. We, yeah. we don't need, we don't need, we don't need spider and man. We don't. Okay. If we wanted to have that, we could have a whole bunch of cheerleaders up here walk around with all these signs and stuff like that. That can happen. This is not this is this this is a this is holy ground here and it's only man, okay? The service y'all shot my shot. It's friends. I'm standing, come on here. A boldly sweet against you, doggone people. Okay, who afraid of your damn shadow? Did you call yourself man? You can I wouldn't I wouldn't even I wouldn't even go to war in a damn Against a rotten paper bag with some of you, you, you dug on cowards, man. Huh? And I'm gonna say it out loud, y'all cowards. If you don't stand for anything for yourself, what, what, what more so someone who even you, you, you were looking at the thing, you'll be on wire to go to. I mean, they, all in trying to get the hell out of here, especially when we sound raising our voice, huh? okay? You can see right now the spirit is having on us right now, raising our voice. Look, look, I'm irritated right now. Ain't no smile on your damn faces right now, right? You have shit to smell. If you don't know right now, you're, you're going to find out that uh, uh, America is bumping. Done. As soon as Saudi Arabia made that announcement, this place is fucked. This place is double and done. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13. Oh, I don't want to bring this out because I can tell you we can talk about this for a little bit. Therefore, I will shake them. Evans, this is after the Lord has said he's going to make uh, us, his servants, okay, more precious than gold and all for. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth to remove out of a place in the rod of the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, I will host in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as a chaste robe and as a sheep that no man take it up. They shall every man turn to his own people and fear on his own hand. Hey, forget about that unification process. Okay, you few Edomites that are out here among Selgo and Mosa Ishika, right? It's advisable for you to get the fuck out right now. All right? You are outnumbered and the Lord is going to put the spirit, okay, for these Ishika, right? Who can barely make ends meet for that dog on high end mortgage with that dog on five, six percent break? Okay, turn around and look at your ass all around that corner, okay, and take your crap from you. Especially dog on all retiring. What you think there's gonna be some respect as you older? Huh? Yeah, like uh, Henry Kissinger said, that uh, all officers are in like I'm dogs. Yeah, that's why you get uh, that's why you get African get uh, amputated. You pretty much get your fucking leg amputated in the war by getting it blown off. So I give you purple. That's monster. Man. Yeah. You get Jake's pump par parading around like that. They have one one Jake. You know, he got no legs. Walking around there, he's a spokesperson. Fuck out here. You lose that damn leg for what? For what, dude? Oh, what I do for my country. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't feel sorry for you at all. I don't feel sorry for you at all. And it says, and it, and it says, everyone, listen to this very carefully, you dug on, dug on Nicholas and Nicholas. Everyone, everyone, all you other nations, and include the two third nation of Israel. Yes, you are a separate nation. Everyone that is found should be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You hear that? That is a decree the Lord is saying, you're going to fall by the damn sword. You join to them. You can't be no more. Joined up to peace or the this damn military or being this police force that oppresses oppress the Lord's people. Okay. After you've heard this warning, oh, what if I give it up? I don't have an income coming in. Oh, by the way, trust me on that. All right. Trust me on that. Not a damn thing will change in your damn life. You will be hot. All right. And it is also, well, I'm not in the military, I'm not in the police force or whatever. No, mentally, you, you've joined them. When you accept homosexuality and LGBTQ, you just don't stand up against wickedness. You are joined to the damn devil. Okay? So you will fall by the sword. All you damn passive aggressive people, you're passive aggressive.
And the oh. Lord knows exactly what the hell you dug on thinking. He knows what you do behind clothes off. He knows what you're thinking in your mind. He knows how weak and passive aggressive you are. The Lord knows it. So the coward sitting next to you in that chair is not going to save you. Uh, Sirach 43, right? 43, 30. All right, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes of the Lord. How about you? We shot 10,000 times prior to be sunk. Yeah, because you see all the bullshit. The sun is pretty bright right here. We can see the double on skin of your damn teeth and grits on your damn the double on teeth. You do a walk and I can tell you, the double on breath stinks. Okay? So imagine the Lord. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 4. For they were worthy to be deprived of light and imprisoned in darkness and kept thy sons shut up by whom the uncorrupt light of the law was given unto the world. That uncorrupt light of the, of the law, okay, lies in Esau's Bill of Rights, his, his constitution, his, his uh, moral decrees and policies, okay, Intended to oppress the population of God's body. Uh, Psalm 10, uh, the Psalm, and I did a chapter. That's the book, those two uh, books. Okay? All right, to oppress the poor, they know we're rich, they know who we are, and they're envious of that. They're damn right. We're trying to come out, we're not trying, we come out here, we got into MCs, not a season, because it's the lost of the tribe of Israel, so called black and indigenous people, as to why we were being oppressed. You don't want to even consider it. No. Because you love clean. That's why love not sleep. Love not dark. Now I love the white, the one so called white man. He said, he's my your oppressor. Okay? Love them consistent slavery, but hey, that's what you want. Huh? Now, oh, this scripture lines up. Beautiful preacher. And this further, this further exposes the wicked of the and why they why they're referring to luminaries. Terrible. Um, uh, super, uh, Okay, not talking about the spirit demon state, I'm talking about this devil. Okay. That's right. Okay. All right. And how this sort of lines with our day five and twenty, it says uh most of them that 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 calls that that that, that calls uh uh light dark the darkness uh for light or put darkness to light. That's why in our day twenty nine sixteen it says what? How this devil has turned everything upside down. Man. Yep. A woman that act like a man and vice versa. Yeah, you know dogs and you know you know animals and just cleaning us out of order, man. Oh, the dogs are Dog will be barking on the dog on time, feminine fucking animals. You get dog on feminine, dog on men. The men are feminine here in this dog on places. That's why the LBGTQ is going to be destroyed. This is good. Yeah, this is your future right here. All right? Look at it, you dog on Edomites right here. I'm like, I hate friends, really, because you're going to die with your dog on so called uh, 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 freaking dog on sort of my people. All right? Speaking of that, so I'll elaborate on that. A lot of you, uh, you Eve are wicked as hell, man. A lot of you Eve gravitate towards these uh, sodomites. Man. Yeah, they like that. So sodomite, those fat little sodomite dude walking like that and go, hey, hey, hey. Okay? Yeah, they gravitate towards them. Okay. You know why? Because you're wicked, man. Yeah. All right? You don't even see the fact that Trump came out a couple of weeks ago for four minutes and what he was talking about. He was talking, his eyes on Yasharal or Asia. And you people are walking, you, 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 you don't want Jason walking around. It ain't about me. Yeah, it's about us. That's what his eyes are on, like that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take the lessons, okay? But Jacob trouble come here and start off with that dog on narrow guy that jump, okay? They mean business, man. When they say clean up the dog on streets, they mean clean you dog on dog on Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans up, man. And particularly you dog on Negroes and Latinos, since you make it the majority on these dog on cities. You devalue the property. That is a dog on fact. A nigga does divide you damn property. It's true. I don't want a nigga around me. I don't want to speak around me, dumb motherfucker. And yeah, why we talk against y'all? Because you're the two thirds. You're a separate nation. You're traitors. You're weak. Okay? Your, your, your value as a man is what you drive around your little dog on little jukebox, dog on coffin right there on wheels. But you're undersized thick. Yet you can't satisfy your woman, man. That's why she was dug on jump on the dug on Jake. So dug on play. Let's go with a Negro, a Negro man. Yeah, I said it. Because you women are wicked and you dug on dudes are weak, man. Right on. Also, well, so what this is coming down to is the light exposing the darkness. That's just really what this is coming down to. Okay. 
Um, so anyway, I'm going to bring out this information on uh, what Trump, uh, Trump is. is uh, Yeah, so this is um, yeah, a recent comment on, on uh, uh, what Trump has said about the, the border. All right, because he could be in there. He might have any other way to put himself on uh, next to He thought I got a bunch of tricks and treats. Oh, yeah, they could they, they, they come up. Uh, what is this, 2023? Uh, I think they could be signed doing the uh, stuff uh, the end of this year, signed going into 2024. Uh, yeah. That's what I mean. Simultaneously, because Trump will then be in office, what, 2025 then, right? January 2025, when he'll be sworn in, right? Because the election will be in 2024. Simultaneously, Bill Gates and Kim will say there's going to be another Devon pandemic going on in 2025. And they mentioned the year 2025 was when they said there's going to be another Devon pandemic going. All right? So guess who's going to be issuing this Devon shit? And here's Bill Gates... Bill Gates' man friend or man wife, uh, Melinda Gates said what? They, they, think, they, 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 they think this is funny? Now, they're going to be laughing for the second time. They're not going to be laughing. That means they're coming down with some freaking number one hardcore freaking shit, okay? And during that time, I think they can really straighten out the uh, little data digital currency. It's going to be coming right around that time. To bring the pandemic, damn it. The last every campaign. You saw how many businesses, how many companies places went out of business during the uh, pandemic. How many people lost work? How many businesses closed down? You starting to feel that real right now. It changed the mindset of people because a lot of people started to really hold back and starting to feel very uncomfortable. Okay? So now you imagine you pumped that up a little bit on steroids. Okay? Shut off thousands. For real this time. So, poison the water. In which tell did you you don't have bullshit going there, okay? Or the EPA going there and say this is polluted or hazardous, and people are drinking this crap and it's gonna die. Now they tell you, oh, by the way, all those derailments that we've done, all those things we've done, that's poison about 70 or 80 percent of the American dog on drinkable water. Only way now you can drink water, which we will ration, according to this guy who came out and said it is not a dog on human right to drink water, okay. Now you're paying, what, $9, 10 for a bottle of water? That's inflation right then. That's what's coming here in the Great Babylon in America. And you people, don't, you, you're not prepared for it. You're not prepared for it. And who do you think is going to be calm in that situation? Who do you think is going to be? People are going to go right to that doggone basic, kind of doggone way of doing things. First of all, they have no patience, okay? And this is a nation of, of, of what? Self-indulgent of greed, okay? So people are not going to wait. So pursuing the second address of 15, you people are going to be lining up, lose your patience, and then start taking from each other. Oh, speaking of that, that's why uh, Francis uh, and, and, uh, got anarchy on the street because he's talking about uh, uh, producing the, uh, uh, that's what they're going to, that's what they're in the Civil War about. Yeah. Their benefits. Did you try and tell me if I'm used to eat, if I'm a big fat glutton, that's used to eating 10, 000, 8, 9, 000 calories a day. You're going to tell me now I have to go and go eat 1,500 calories a day now, food, some little bit of soup and some crap like that? That's not going to go down. And you dug on little, a lot of you dug on little children because people, people think like, it's just a child. Well, they call a 25 year old a child in this country. They call a 90 year old man or woman a dog on teenager in this nation. Why? Because they try this, because this is to keep you dug on asleep, not hold you responsible for any dog on thing in this nation. Okay, by calling you a doggone child. You're a man when you're 12. You're a woman when you're 12. It's plain and simple. These will have more doggone respect for a dog than the doggone the servants of Yahshua and Mashiach. A damn dog. Mm -hmm. That dog is going to eat you or you're going to eat that dog. That's what's coming. So feed it and make it nice and fat. Because you're going to need to eat that damn little dog for food soon. Okay, go ask the book how dog tastes. It probably tastes good. To them, at least. All right? We're not going to be eating that shit. Yeah, so you people are going to be doing some heinous, some heinous things just to survive because you don't have the love of the truth. Oh, yeah. Not on top of that, too. Uh, we wonder, what, what's the one thing you started to see here? You, you see that Walking Dead show, okay? 
you're going against the zombies. Most of the population is, is under the, it got this virus in them, so they're now zombies. Why they fight? Why they sneak and fight against Rick and Rick Grimes in them? Why they now fight out there? Why, why everybody fighting? Because you're not going to get along. Because it's your nature to be a piece of selfish crap, man. So you people think you're going to just somehow collude to find stuff together? Hell no, it's not going to happen. Nobody values the next one. Right now, you have some value because right now, maybe your skin color can get you somewhere in society right now. So the underlings or the people who are underprivileged, who are underserved here, are always going to be the dark skin people like us. And it goes proven that we are the servant of the, the true children of, of Yahweh, Shemel Shai, who said that we would have, all, we'd have those curses on us. That we would work our ass off and can't profit. No matter how smart you are, how hard you work, you would always be under those curses until the Lord lift it up. And he's only going to take his elect out of that. He's not going to take these stuff on rest of you. He's going to, he's going to, he can really try to shit on you damn niggas. That's why he says he's going to laugh at you. Because he, he, can, he can make Deuteronomy 30. He can put Deuteronomy 28 on steroids. See, Esau, when he whooped your ass during slavery, when he beat you and he auctioned you off and did all that stuff, you were a precious commodity to Esau. Slavery, slaves, were a real precious commodity. It didn't serve Esau to kill us, really. If you didn't spend your money and bought the dog on serve the slave, because why? You were like dog on like, like what, what a cattle would be. Okay, you were a commodity to Esau. The more serve, the more slaves you had, that was a high your style. Some of the slaves you have there, George Washington. Oh, I have about 5,000. Oh, wow, 5,000 Negroes. Oh, 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 oh. How many do you have, Lincoln? How many do you have, Jefferson? Okay, status. All right? In this end, okay, when the elect is sealed, there's not going to be status. There ain't going to be no more slavery for you. For, 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 there ain't going to be no more slavery. But the Lord already said that he's not going to slave us anymore. He's just going to simply destroy two-thirds of us. There's no point. We don't learn. Okay? So he's only going to try to slave you and stuff. Like he can put you in country camp, chop your head off, torture you like in ways you can't even begin to imagine. Okay? You got all these people going to freaking grab you and drink your damn blood. Not because they're thirsty. It's just because they can get away with it. That's how sick these people are, man. You can all kind of, you will really see the Satan that's coming out right now. Kidnapping those damn kids and they're going to cut their throat and drinking their blood. Eating human flesh, not because they don't have any food. It's just because they can do it and get away with it. There ain't going to be no one stopping anybody. Nobody's going to come and rescue you damn women. Your little pacified sissy man is not going to suddenly turn into a damn lion. Okay? What happened? This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 1. The word of the Lord Yahweh came also to me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, and neither shalt thou have sons nor daughters in this place. So if you're not, like I go into what Apostle Paul was saying, that um, if at all possible, uh, don't even touch a woman. And if you already have one, you're not supposed to put away she if she uh, desires you. So if you're, if you're a single, self male, it should remain that way. Unless Yahweh by Shimon Shah told you something. Because there are women, because he, uh, uh, because these women are part of the fairies of the world. They're nothing but distractions, man. Yep. So meaning what? It's not a time, not the time and a place to be uh, uh, uh to have to have our minds fixated on uh, raising a family here. Mm -hmm. All you talk about family men are gonna be you're gonna be put to death. Yep. Okay, if you don't repent. Yep. All right, mm -hmm. like how Shah said, uh, 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 a man is not willing to choose choose me over his his mother, his sister, his brother, his children, his wives, unworthy. He's not worthy of me. Jeremiah 16 to 3, for thus said the Lord Yahweh concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begot them in his land. They shall die of grievous death. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and the feet of shit. Yep. And they shall be consumed by the sword. Look at the sword you done. And you assume, well, I saw the war out here. And by famine, our people will be starving to death, right, except for the elect. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. All right, so these wild beasts are going to uh, devour the wicked ass people. We see that Job 5th chapter, uh, I believe Job 5th or 6th chapter. And we're going to be laughing in the face of this uh, calamity, okay? So that's how strong of our, our, our faith is going to be. And on top of that, you can't, it, it's not going to touch us, it's said. A uh, thousand will die, die on one side and ten thousand on the other side, but none will come and no one will come on to thee. Not a damn thing. And people, they decide to take notice of that. Well, wait a minute. 
the hell is going on? Nothing is happening to these particular people here. Yep, he's, um, yep, this is uh, Jeremiah 16 and uh, ooh, verse 5. For thus said the Lord, Yahweh, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, said the Lord, Yahweh, even loving kindness and mercy. Right, and peace have brought out earlier how we can obtain peace. Okay, in uh, uh, Sirach 26 and 4, specifically. Okay, all right, by, by, by loving the Heavenly Father, which is actually the first thing he's right to the Old Okay, that's why this, this current house of the proud, of the wicked, the house of Basra, she might could be overthrown. Yep, because they don't, they don't, because they don't replicate, because they're, they're, they're wicked, uh, clean ones. All right, it's not replicating, uh, the love of the Heavenly Father. But they don't, they don't fear it, and they, they were created to not fear it. And they don't fear it. Why is why it's going to be it? This is why the Heavenly Father said these people love to be destroyed. And every, every, everyone who, who the uh, seek and foolish enough to follow their, their wicked counsel. Yep. Jeremiah 16, 16. Both the great and the small oh. shall die in his land. Right. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves fall for them. Maybe you no know, sacrifice for these, these people like you know, that, that thing in the world. Let's pour out a little liquor for the homies. Yeah, fuck ain't that shit. It ain't gonna be none of that shit. Yeah, it ain't gonna be no damn ain't liquor for your ass at the floor. Okay? Because people gonna be, people gonna, uh, 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 people gonna, uh, be. Oh, hey! So long. So long. What's up? Yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's just, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 7. He that shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead. He that shall men give them the cup of consolation. To drink for their father or for their mother. That's what he's spirit. That's where he gets the spirit from uh, of a uh, pour out a little liquor for the homies. For the dead yeah. homies. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, nigga Tupac and them. Yeah. Pour out a look. He actually came out with a song, I believe, called that shit. Pour out a little liquor. Yeah, for yeah, homies. yeah. From that movie Above the Rim. Oh, oh, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour out a little liquor. It's like, yeah. Uh, uh, Tupac is a faggot. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a total oh. fucking faggot. Uh, okay. So pour out the liquor. No, you can need that damn liquor for the pain. You can be damn feeling. Wow. All right, don't pour no damn liquor for nothing. You're <laughs> fucking pouring a damn good liquor. Right. You, know, like, you might will say, oh, I'm not pouring no damn good bottle of scotch, you know, damn double nigga. Right. I'll go, I'll go, Esau, you know? He's you know? a little bit more meat here. Jeremiah 16 and 8. And then, by the way, that's going to be a bartering item. That's right. So uh, no, that's going to be another reason why we're not being wise when we talk with people. Like, People are, 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 are finished. Spiritually. They're going to continue to indulge in that folly. Okay. Because there's a part of uh, these worldly trends. Well, a lot of these uh, stupid ass people on the tick to uh, die in these TikTok uh, 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 trends. That's right. Like you're uh, putting a uh, uh, NyQuil in their chicken. What kind of shit? Bro. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be a fucking degenerate to even think about doing some shit like I that. See, they're, they're doing it because it's entertainment and this place is quality. And you can see, you can see a lot of these stuff going on. YouTube practical jokers out there doing shit. Oh, let me go on a, let me let me go prank a hood a hood rat or a, or, or a gangster in a hood. You can get put to damn dead. Okay, prank goes wrong. That's gonna be the double new one. See right there. It's prank goes wrong. All right. So this is what's gonna become the great Babylon America here. All right. When I'm not I'm not waving to any of you fucking motherfucker unless you come up here before and I recognize your face. I'm not waving to you. Uh, fuck you. Don. Exactly. Must correct you. Don. All right. We don't need to your ass and shit. Yeah. Right. Monkey ass yeah. in the car. And come up here and hear the word like a dog on man. Be a damn for you and your damn dog. In that's your funny. That's funny when you do that. Yeah. Like I'm supposed to wait to you. What the fuck do you think we are? Not the fuck out here, man. Yeah, we're not friendly. Boss, we're not boss, friendly out here at all. I'm saying, like, we're. You know, Andy Howard Shaw wasn't friendly. He was austere. He called a woman a bitch. Yeah. Without calling her a bitch. So he, he yeah. called her a dog, which he's calling her a bitch. Yep. I got I guess a precept for that right now. Huh? My final precept. Fine. Yeah, we're going we gonna, to we gonna unleash the pool. Spiritual clip on you people out here. Damn, damn right. In Jeremiah 16 and 8, thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink. So we're not, we're not, in, we're not in the spirit of a party bush. Every now and then, thanks a little yon. Yep, yon is good for you. Hey, all right, that is fine. Hopefully, spiritually good for you, for yourself, sir. And 
Fuck, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be sir. A person gets served on that double on, on, on the chariot. Uh huh. That was the ancient bottle. The ancient bottle. She's Real stuff. Yep. Real stuff. Because, yeah, you know, I'm supposed to have a close street to grab blood stuff. He saw it poison every goddamn thing. Yep. And that goes without saying, right? Of course. It's a, you know, but, so, so, so we're, we're, we're in the house in the morning and I'm teaching. Like it says here, okay? Uh, look at me. You ask me. Let me chat. Okay? Because. The Lord is better, you know, better, you know, further tries to reign to the heart by chastising his people he loves. Man. Yep. That's why, you know, you know, if you're not catching some kind of hell, that's not a good thing, man. That's you know what you want to if, you, if, you, if everything is peachy creamy for you, man, you, you, may, you don't want to, you know, you, you not necessarily fear, but you want to be, you know, you want to, you want to pray to your father to, to, uh, to not, to, to, to keep you in the right spirit. Yeah. So that way you don't get too proud. Yeah. You will get proud and you will get complacent. You know, all going this and it will, and, it, and, it, and, and it's not necessarily a physical thing. Or a financial thing. It could be a mental thing. Fine. You're plagued with double demons in your damn hand, fucking you over. You know, because you get PTSD. Okay? Post traumatic slavery. That's why. Then then abandoning it, abandoning banning abandoning uh his 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 uh kind of congregation over there like a fucking coward, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't run, you can't run. Hey, you, you, can, look at, he is. Yeah, you can look at you can look at you can look at uh Jonah. Fine. He tried to run. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 that didn't work out fine, for him. And uh, when they found out, they was getting judged on the boat. They threw his ass off the, the ship. His ass, they threw his ass off the ship. Yeah, I mean, no, right? no part. Yeah, they knew the reputation of Allah shot you. Exactly. They you knew. Know, we, oh, you, you, oh, you, oh, this is God that you, oh, hell no. Nah. Hell get no. The hell off, get the hell yeah. off. And that's how it's going to be, Doug, when Jacob Trouble come and you two tourists getting your ass like, fuck up a Esau and shit like that. But you think we want you in the ass? Hi. What do we say? Put your hands in the wall. That snake bite your ass. You run from bail. Or Amos five and nineteen. Yeah, that lion. That lion bite you. Well, matter of fact, take a look at it. You get that Amos five and nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting that? It's a little more beat up here. Jeremiah six and nine. But then said the Lord Yahweh, "Oh, the power of Israel. Behold, I will cause to cease out this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom." And the voice of the bride, no more, no more goddamn stupid ass vain so far marriages for a whore puts on a white dress to, to, to proclaim her pureness just because she got a goddamn piece of shit vain ring put on her, her, her uh, uh, defiled finger and be worshiped by a damn simp. Okay, by him getting on his knees and worshiping this bitch. Well, that's right. Okay, that, 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 that's going to cease well, the rest of the, 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 the forms of murder. Yep, it's all going to cease because them same sims. Ooh, they can, they can, they can get mad. You, 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 you stupid women can just say something wrong thing to one of them. This is the book of Amos chapter 5, Psalm verse 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shai, is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went to the house and then his head on the wall. And a serpent bit his stinking little hands. Okay. There's no way out of it. Come on. You like I said, you don't want to put a knife trap. So specifically, you know, somehow, no matter what you start does, you're not going to be able to escape. Escape. Yeah. But that song, but that song by the Fugees. Yeah. And in the early mid '90s, uh, ready night here I come. Yep. I'm gonna find you. That's right. You ain't gonna be able to hide um, from your hollow by seven trying. That's why. Uh, he threw the stick out to prophesize how the family didn't fall within the hands of living power. Well, you think he's still making these little drones and these spy planes and those spy drones? Which you're going to be looking up in the sky real soon and seeing these drones flying around, okay? Watching your ass. Jake, you're not going to be able to run. Uh, they, they show when they show up with police chases and stuff. Good. Jake running with his own all pants on his ass. Look like at dumbass. You think it's even even prepared for a they're going battle, man. It's just like, not, it's, it's embarrassing. I used to be so embarrassed watching that stuff in the 1990s. Like, Wow, 
I'll put a really, really stupid. Yeah, like man. on those shows and like on Fox, uh, uh, the Fox Network. And yeah, like, yeah. Like when like the bad boys were yeah. called cops. Yeah. Bad running boys, with it, running boys. with it, throwing on sock and like that. to say, you were not, you really didn't put on the right, you weren't prepared to do your job on crime now, uh, were you? Esau mm-hmm. goes all strapped up, extra shit, laid out plan, all that stuff. And niggas always freaking don't want embarrassing, embarrassing to, to try. And, that, and that's, that's why niggas. See, that's equivalent to being obese and running, trying to run from uh, danger. That's the same effect, really. It's the same, it's the same effect. Yep. Okay, you know? Uh, so, what? You five women, you didn't, but you think someone's going to pick your fat ass up? <laughs> Come on, man. So, I mean, the Lord is. big thunder thighs rubbing together like that. Yeah, like Lizzo, that fat uh, dragon. And then and Esau put her up there because why? Esau knows that the, the so-called Negro women don't like to work out because you don't want to mess up your damn weave. <laughs> okay? So they put them up and go, well, I can be fine and still be famous and like that. Yeah, everything that this man does, this man studies. Okay. Um, oh, oh. Uh, makes our people happy. You women don't want to exercise. I go to Gold's gym. I've been to Planet Fitness. I've been to all these gyms. And I can count the amount of times I've seen a dog on Eve inside the damn gym working out. Okay? They don't work out. Or when they do show up and then they sit on their cell phone for 30 minutes on a machine and do hospital, not a damn Gone. thing, and then leave. <laughs> Gone. But it's telling that friend, now, girl, I go to the gym. I work out. I'm healthy. Really? Are you serious? So don't, you women need to understand this. When you're in a man that's like, girl, you look fine, all that stuff. Look at that. Look carefully at that man. Look at look at carefully at him. That is a Negro. He's low state. He has no standards. Okay. He's a two-third nigga that the Lord is going to put down. He is not a man or servant of Yahshua Mashiach. Right. Look at the YouTube or you can go to Akium.com and take a look at the brothers. Right. Okay. I am over 50 years old. Do I look like that? Right. I take care of myself. So you think I'm going to lie with a dog on pig, a dog bitch? Right. You think you really, you really believe that? I just ran two miles this morning with ease. I did a hundred pull-ups and dips. All that stuff. I have a six pack underneath my dog on sackcloth right now. You think I'm gonna lie with some fat, lazy, no good, worthless, stinking dog on broad? Come on, get the hell out of here. I'm not gonna tell you anything, anything else about me, but that you will then understand and understand who you're walking up to when you're coming up to me. Just the standard is not here. Okay, it is not here. Hey, we gotta, we gotta remind us. We gotta be reminded this daily. I can, you know what I'm saying, really dealing with Aki, and you, Aki, you Aqua, but really dealing with Aki, Malaki, man. So we don't shadow. You know, we're we not gonna shadow. shadow. No, fuck that. I don't care how fat. I don't care how how uh, uh, how lush the titties are, how fat her ass is, how how long and how dense her hair. Yeah, a whole lot of criteria. That's the reason why. And that scripture said. The women think to them and go, hey, just take me because I'm pretty. No, they came and they, they, they start presenting their skills. I can do a whole lot of things. Just let me, just, just let me be with you. So they were selling their skills. Right now, you're selling your titties. Except my brother's never had some. They're going to push me for it. And I said, I have some calls. I think first came on here in El Paso. You know, coming up with me with that spring, I go, look here, there's nothing between your damn leg I've not had before, okay? A whole lot of it. Let's not get this twisted here. Yep. Uh, that's why I said rock 20, 20, uh, 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 I Meaning what? Her mind is like fancy that. Meaning what? She's always conspiring to do mischief. Like Esau. So that's why they're appeasing the phone. Going back to that covenant with death that he made with Esau and uh did it through third time. Yep. So we're not it's like we're not moved by uh these bras, man. And okay, we you know we we you know we like we've been there and done that. Of course so this brother, okay. By way of the reason by way of what you just mentioned, okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, so we've, been, we've been there and done that. All right. Go back at the end of the day. Spiritually, what I'm going into spirit is there's that uh, like uh, like Solomon mentioned okay? everything under the sun is a vexation of spirit. We use Ecclesiastes, uh, somewhere in Ecclesiastes. Okay, anyway, this is Jeremiah 16 10. 
And it shall come to pass when thou shalt shoot these people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, For hath the Lord Yahweh pronounced all this great evil against thee? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord Yahweh our about? God, I say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord Yahweh, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not given them all, that ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, ye walk ever, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. This is why we wind up over here. Okay, I'm in the Western Hemisphere. We the trans mainly through the transatlantic slave trade. Prophesied read around in 2868 with Esau's having his way with our women. Okay, having hell, having his way with the men and the children. Yep, as well. Okay, so I'm like, I get fine. You gotta have to pay for all this shit. This is it. Okay. This, this is your key. Like my man, uh, uh Killmonger from Black Panther, the first Black Panther said, This is this is this your key? And then, and by the way, he was faggot too, Michael B. Jordan. All these women are lusting after that fact. Yeah, isn't that, that's why uh, the nigga that, that, that was boxing against him in a new movie, Creed 3, he's a damn faggot, man. Oh, uh, posing on, on, on the cover of that magazine uh, cover with a damn uh, feminine pose with his legs crossed like a bitch with a damn pink cardigan or some shit wrapped around his uh, uh, neck, exposing his chest like, you know, like a fucking fire. Oh, he's a beautiful boy. He's not fucking posing for you. Fine. He's posing for men. Think. What? Why don't you get brass chest? Come on, man. Y'all better wake up with a damn likeness here. A lot of you damn women, you better understand right here. The true man, men, is the servant of Yahshua and Mashiach. Uh, Everybody else are just dug on little faggots. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. Old, young, it doesn't matter. Little fucking faggots. Uh, but and you see, and that's why the Lord is going to have his man set up, okay, who stand boldly against his bullshit, okay, so that the young men can be brought up the right way. They're not gonna be accepting this crap. Those are so those are gonna be those are gonna be marked for exemption against his judgment, okay? And Yashara uh, 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 in Yashara, let's so called the American Latino, you're in Jacob's trouble, okay? You can have men, real men. That's right. That's gonna be leading those young men to groom them up to be real men. We don't know exactly how long Jacob's trouble is gonna be. That could be a year, that could be two years. We don't know. That's not for us to know. All we know is the Lord says he's gonna protect us. Okay? There was a power to snap Esau them in half like that when they try to mess with us. Okay? Heal our people with a touch. Okay? Right. And how I, I dispatch, okay, a variety of angels around the camp. I was in camp the campus, okay, to protect us from this old man and okay, and on and all of the things that he thinks that he taught against the righteous, which is not gonna work, Esau. And I'm just telling you that. The lion coon that fucking with, uh, what's his name? You know, you, you, might, even, you might even be a coon. You damn a straight up eat him my dear. Uh, who's the, the Secretary of Defense guy? Oh, no, think about that. Uh, Lloyd Austin? Lloyd Austin. Yeah, he's straight, hey, well, he's you, straight up Easton. If, if you didn't see that dude, you would have sworn I was eating my man. Okay, you just all, straight up eating my all, 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 his vernacular is all like okay. super proper. Don't, and... Yes, don't don't believe that that dog on, he's a black man, okay? Yeah, he might just be Lloyd Austin, he's a damn eat my. I was here, I was thinking about that. I can bet you his damn daddy yep. is a freaking dog on George Washington, uh, Abraham Lincoln, one of them damn, one of them damn. Pedophile fucking rapists who freaking are going to screw our damn sodomize and rape our women that produce a piece of crop there two generations later. I was All right. About that. Uh, um, recently, like about a day or two, both like, oh man. So I listened, I listened to him lie his ass off about the whole. Yeah, uh, and he saw as a liar. Ukraine and sales uh, uh, leak and how he fucking lied under oath. I'm like, I listened to him speak again. I'm like, yo, man. Yeah, because he saw as a damn liar. It's going to be a fucking. Just like, just like they're going to call him power. Eat him, Mike. He just straight up eat him, Mike. You know what they played for his dog on played at his funeral? Dancing Queen. Wow. You know, they will come and they say this is a, that was his favorite song by Abel, Dancing Queen. Wow. Okay, That's they played that and I go, what the hell? Here's a guy that was a four-star general. Okay, leader of the doggone uh, uh, a leader in the in the in the, in the supposed to be greatest military ever existed in history. Okay, and his favorite song that they can play at his death to honor him is Dancing Queen. Which is the gayest song, one of the most gayest songs other than it's raining man from freaking the going where the hell that doggone fat, fat bitch name is Gloria Gaynor, okay, saying in the soundies. Okay. Seriously. They just bring up you know, Esau is exposed. Um, and you people just you just let the fire it over your dog on it. I did a lesson back the back in the day on that on, on the channel that's going off of YouTube. Uh, okay. 
But he's a, he was a doggone Edomite. Same thing with doggone. Yeah, because if you're pumped up in this society, you're a damn Edom. You're a damn. You're you're most likely doggone a tear. Okay. Uh, what's your name now? That uh, what's your name? This doggone. What's your name? Uh, I showed up on the back of this picture right here. Uh, uh, Edom. He's an Edomite. Uh, he's famous. He got a big afro. He always showed up as a big with a big afro with a mustache. Uh, I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, into a sweet. Yeah. You just Google, if you Google white man with Afro and yeah, probably yeah he probably he probably come up like that. Okay. Hey, well, you, hey, Richie Simmons uh, on on the other side of the spectrum, he might be a G. Cause he got like a little Afro thing going on now. He's a fucking flaming faggot. But uh, <laughs> but he might be a G. You know, so you so it's spiritual, man. You gotta, yeah. you got to judge by the like. We go by spirit. Like George Carlin is probably a, most likely a double on. Oh. Frederick Douglass. In the the Frederick Douglass, that's it. That's Edomite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Edomite. yeah. All right? Yeah. Straight up Edomite, man. Come on. Freaking nope. double chair. That's why they glorize him like that. See? You apes can also freaking achieve what he's achieved right now. That's why he's still trying to call you as a damn ape. See? Here's a chess court, okay? And he set the standard. He set the standard of what you should be instead of what Yahusha and Mashiach set the standard of what we should be. Well, under the laws and the command of Yahusha and Mashiach, Okay, that's the standard of a man right there. If you're a man, you don't stand up, you don't stand up and agree with a damn man that's gonna come and tell you the LBGTQ and a man and a man is right. That's not the standard, that's a low level standard right there. And this is a low vibration doggone place here, Great Babylon America. And you men, hey, let me take that back. You faggots in the doggone cars are friggin' doggone uh, uh, low vibration, okay? Because you don't have no damn standard. All of you driving right now in your car, you're worried about a damn mortgage. God. Okay? You're trapped with a doggone mortgage. Where a next, servant. Where your next meal is going to come from. Where your next meal is going to come from. You have no assurance of any doggone thing there. You proud. We own our own house. Where's the deed? Show me it. Show me the doggone deed to your damn house. You don't have it. And that's going to be a trap for y'all. Because you're overextending your damn self. Okay, and before the Lord actually get rid of this doggone paper currency, a lot of people are going to be in a damn doggone street and you'll have no choice. Whoever's left out there is going to be having to deal with that digital currency. And eventually, when they crash everything, it's going to go into that freaking doggone, put it in your doggone hand. Okay, because it's not going to work out. It's going to get hacked. The people who create the cryptocurrency and all that stuff are the, the brightest hackers on the earth. Well, you think they're going to, you they're going to hack this inferior government crap that they have? Those ex employees of Google and friggin' Dogo and these other tech companies that comes out like that, they literally throw that Dogo and proprietary intellectual property online for free. Seriously, you can download anything Dogo for free. Um, With a little smile. And it's, and it's always the, the detestable things that are easily accessible to be downloaded. Yeah, of course. You know, but, 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 but the things that are worse are not as accessible. Yeah, that's why YouTube likes to turn around. Okay. Uh, you know, your brother's gonna get. You brothers gotta diversify your dog on self. Get your stop being proud. Okay. There's other options than dog on YouTube. Yes, it gives you more views and all that stuff like that. But if that's what you're thinking like that, then I'm sure I'm actually gonna judge your ass too because you're not really being sincere. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 13. Therefore, will I cast you out of this land to a land that you know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not shoot your favor. All right. This is why uh, uh, down there in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, how about Shui Shai struck that goddamn thing, that, that, that uh, gigantic false image of the Messiah, okay, twice in 72 hours. Yeah, that shit is funny, man. Okay. Then you brought a deadly earthquake down in Brazil. Now that has that damn faggot ass demonic carnival. But they were literally worshiping Satan in broad daylight. And having thought it rewarded them <laughs> by 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 bringing a, a flash flood, a deadly flash flood down there. And believe them. Don, okay. They play, you play stupid games and win stupid prizes. The Heavenly Father is turning it up and he's making, he's really making himself known. Like it says in uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. I'm sure can you, can you get Second Ezra 15 and 8, you know? Because the Heavenly Father is, 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 is uh, crying like he, he's about to, he, he, at this point, he's crying like a prevailing woman, man. For Shin Isaiah uh, uh, 40, I think he believes the 41st chapter. Okay, he 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 is not he's not being modest in the judgment. He never was being modest in the judgment, but now he's making himself more. He's revealing himself more. Fred, Fred reminding the world of his 
deadly reputation as Allah shot you. That's right. He's listening to earth to be created. And this is the same power that Haddad brought over here to serve these people, man, and their gods. Okay? This is how we wind up over here. Okay? Go ahead, Ad. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more us touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they widely, wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continuously. Yeah, Peter, so that's fine. Now, Vashem Mashiach. The lines of the Psalm, the 94 chapter. It says, how long, O Lord? Okay, bring the devil down already. Bob, yeah, that's up. right. Okay, get us out of here. That's why in Isaiah 6, second chapter, talk about how we, we are the prophets so to give the Lord. Okay, performing our daily vow. Okay, crying out for this air. Bob, Day and night. Putting curse on our enemies. That's why we come out here, stand two, three hours, okay? Fine. And, and, and crying out. We're complaining. And the, you start off speaking soft, and eventually you say you, the spirit is getting on you. you you're irritated because it's like you got to deal with this crap every day on day. You know how many faggots draw by in that car the devil on day looking at that? Because they feel threatened because I hold a sign like this that says, Great Babylon America is going to be destroyed because you dog on faggots. It is, this place is called spiritual Egypt and spiritual Sodom, and it is going to be destroyed. That's right. Nuclear fire. Whether you like it or not, or you accept it or not, or whether your cousin is, so, is a sodomite or not, this place is going to be destroyed by nuclear doggone fire. But before that, the Lord is going to have these beasts come on the field. The snakes are going to go into your house and kill your kids. You're going to have the starvation that's going to go here in this little desert city here called El Paso, Texas, where you people doggone are so proud. And then, right then, four places, they're going to unleash those drones and those things roam the street. Okay? They incarcerate you people inside your own houses. When these doggone Amalekites, the so-called Jews, come out here and decide that you are not worthy to walk outside your own damn house as they did two years ago. So keep thinking it's a game, people. Mm -hmm. Keep thinking it's a game. Right. Yeah, this is, uh, you grab, uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 31. First, all right, this is uh Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 7. He reads, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chiefs of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, Yahweh. Save thy people, the remnant of Israel. And, and who's going to be saying this from? First and foremost, ourselves. All right? That's why in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, it says, examine ourselves when we come into the, the uh, uh, examine ourselves to, to, to see whether or not you're in the truth, roughly paraphrase. Okay? Because when it's flesh, you're nothing. So so really, Yahweh Shem Shai, okay, is amused by what we're doing right now. But this is foolishness. Absolute foolishness. Okay? Okay, but, but like it also says in the New Testament, if the foolishness of preaching is required, okay, uh, to see the elect. That's how he set it up, man. Yeah. So, like, you know, so like it says in Isaiah somewhere, our righteousness is a filthy rag. No matter if you do a hundred lessons a day, okay, that's not going to get you saved. That's not. You're, it's by way of our measure of faith that's going to save us within our works, man. Okay. Now, 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 uh, a lot of these scoffers and scorners, okay, like to come against us because we further bring it out how we're going to be saved more so by way of our measure of faith, as as if. We're supposed to be abstinent in, in, in our works. One when faith and works goes hand in hand. Yep. You see the Hebrews 11 chapter, man. For the false balance and abomination, so you how about Shimmy or Shai, man. Okay, so if you're not, if you, if you don't acknowledge that, then you're a false prophet. If you don't repent from that spirit, okay, uh, you how about Shimmy Shai is going to destroy you, man. Okay, because this, 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 uh, this, this gospel is not child's play. It's not something that you can, you could, you could carnally profit off of and think that you're going to get away. Because that's why you how Shai got mad at them niggas, some wicked ass niggas. And flip the table over and basically beat the asses with a uh, 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 like it does kind of like a cat of nine tail. Beat the hell out of them, man. Yeah. Okay. If you took contrary to proper belief, he wasn't a he wasn't a soft spoken, uh, 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 happy go lucky guy, man. He was a very austere, uh, rough around the edges man. Yeah, that's right. And that's why in Isaiah the fifty third chapter, it speaks about how he was undesired. He was he was undesirable, roughly paraphrasing, man. He wasn't he wasn't a looker. He wasn't a pretty boy, man. Okay. That's right. 
you know, and, and, and same thing with us, man. Yeah. See, see what I'm saying we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not desired like that by the world. Nope, we're not. But we're just we're we're modeled after His image, like right. it says in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. Okay, and around and at the end of that chapter. Okay, and, and similar precepts, man. So we have we have a we have a high standard to uphold in in, in the world. Okay, take back uh this world at the rightful owners of it. That's why this world is in a parent currently under a paradigm shift. Okay, because it's, it's in destiny to be manageable. Okay, because we should have Revelation eleven eighteen with devil G so Edom had that had fucked up the world, man. Fucked up the coral reef underneath under, uh, underneath the bodies of water. Okay, fucked up the air with with, with uh harmful chemicals and metals. God, you, you can't even be a damn man, and you, you can't exactly. tell what is a man or a woman nowadays, right. man. Oh, I, you, oh. You, you see your ass and tits, and then you gotta like, mm, I don't know, I don't. You know, the way your makeup looks, it looks exactly. it looks it looks suspicious. All I'll right. Check for the Adam's apple. You and, know, and if a voice sounds, they, 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 they can grind that down too. Yeah. Trust that, me on that shit. And if you and, and if that voice sounds a little funny, you gotta like. Uh, they want to ask some probing questions. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, some women have. Or just not some, deal with it. Some women have deeper it. voice. They're putting something in the food that makes the man grow tits instead of right. a chest. The women grow and they're going. The women have here on their chest and they yeah, figure they're going out. Uh, testosterone pills. You know, a lot of these women are so strong. I see that at the gym. It's like, where do these women get their strength? They get their strength from, man. Where are you getting your strength from? Oh, this had this uh, this uh, uh women's uh, uh, national uh, college championship in basketball, right? And uh, fucking eat my bitch. She might be a Jake. Those so called uh, 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 white bitch pulling up, shooting all kinds of threes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just in, in, like making them effortless. Yep. And a, lot of, and a lot of them chicks are not a lot not in shape for no reason, man. They take they taking some substances. Yeah, they they, they take it, man. Especially these eating my boy. They love they you know they they love they love taking those stuff. And a lot of these dudes, a lot of these doggone males are gonna get put to death by these girls, man. I'm telling you. They're going to put the devil, he's going to break the devil and then fucking jack your ass up. They're going to do it to you. Why? Because the empowerment in the head by the society, on top of that, uh, many of them, and particularly these other tribes, they take they take really good care of themselves as far as this need, man. Go and go and go and go to the gym or not. And you dudes want to sit around and smoke your weed, on, have an unhealthy life like that. You're so infeminate and you're so fooled by this. Here you are being dominated by the woman, and she can come, she can slap the crap on you, slap you on the ground, ground put you to death. And you think she uh, you think she's she's above you because this society has made you think that. So guess what? You just take it. Okay. Then that uh don't try it with us though. Yeah. No, he's not my ass. I can tell you that I speak for me personally. Okay, no, I'm talking about that. Not only uh, 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 are you lighted to get put to death right now, but that is. When the Lord raised up with that power, okay, your neck is going to be like your your neck is going to be softer than people, okay. So you you, you women are going to be you, you women are going to be brutalized in, in, in a righteous sense as well. Yep. Okay. By how much how shine Allah I am and and the hundred forty five thousand. And this is that and that's in the spirit. Wicked, that's, wicked, wicked women that is. Yeah, that's a wicked women. And that's a, that's that's in the that's written in the Bible. Okay. It's not us. We haven't done it. Okay, it's written in this. It's written in the scripture. So why isn't your rabbi teaching that? Why isn't your dog on uh, Amalekites teaching that? Why aren't your dog on pastors teaching that? Okay, why? Because your dog on full of dog on crap. Okay, but at the end of the day, the Lord has a great judgment that's coming here from Great Babylon, America. You know what I mean? That's all. I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, take the sounds before we All right. Baruch the fifth chapter. All right, so yeah, I'm going to bring this out in um, Baruch chapter 5, verse 5. Arise, O Yerushalayim, and stand on high and look about toward the east. And behold, thy children gather from the west and to the east by the word of the Holy One, Yahweh, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High God, Yahweh. But they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies. But the most high God Yahweh bringeth them and to thee exalted with glory as children of the kingdom. Yeah, so when, when, when Yahweh said the king was prepared for you, this is who he was talking to. This is who he 
uh, 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 was, was, was uh, uh, hearing this, this promissory. Okay, he said the king was already prepared for me. He said, "Where I go, you cannot go." He said the king was already prepared for me. Just watch until until it's fulfilled. And that's why Revelation the twenty first chapter talks about how New Jerusalem is gonna is gonna descend into this realm. I mean, what? I mean, how much can bring us a people? It's pretty confirmed that the kingdom is going to take place on the earth. A lot of you, a lot of you, you, you bug out for you, you, uh, uh, you, you so called uh, uh, Christian, so drunk off that, uh, 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 you know, that, 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 uh, uh, Babylonian Jew. You, 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 when you think of the kingdom, you're thinking about the spiritual realm. And you ignorantly refer to just simply heaven. But the kingdom of heaven, and the, the kingdom of heaven is trying to confirm in the Lord's prayer that kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, you know, uh, they don't read that by because they don't know that they see, it goes over your head. Yeah, see, and I thought that's why, and that see, and that's why was 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 Rock thirty nine twenty four says was was plain uh uh plain into the righteous are so often not far on this. So so ultimately, okay, you're not an Israelite, you're not going to enjoy the king. You're going to be, you're going to you're going to dread the king. Okay, ultimately, this is what we come out here for. Okay, this is what how I sent this out here for. Okay, to warn our, to 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 uh, remind our people who they are, to warn them to repent and to uh, edify and exhort them that there's a place of everlasting which is rest coming. That's what going to take place on the table. Okay. 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 Right, today we're gonna turn to the east. Give all glory and honor to yeah. Yeah, hold by ship, yo, shout by ship, we're coming for Dutch. Double honor to the teachers, elders, and the pastors of Great Millstone, also the brothers for the truth. Brothers and sisters, we need to shut up. 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 Shut up